Hello, everybody. I think I'm ready to get started. Welcome, Rob. So, I think we're basically at the end of the game. I mean, I guess it's really up to me <laughs> how fast we beat this game. I imagine there's not more than like two dungeons left. Also, I'd like to make a small correction. I said we dealt with everybody. I realized we never had the rematch versus... Uh, I don't remember what the dog and ninja's name is. So we haven't fought the dog and ninja again. And aside from the scientist, I think that is officially all the people left. So after we do that, I guess we'll see what happens. Maybe we'll try to get additional content with bonus dungeon. To be determined. Let's go ahead and pause the soundtrack. And jump into the game itself. Hopefully you're doing well today, Rob. Hope I'm doing okay too. Uh, I'm okay-ish. I was not very happy with the bonus content of this game, so I, I'm very much on the fence if I still want to do the final dungeon. <clears throat> if you missed it last time, Rob, the dungeon is activated by RNG. I really, really don't like RNG-based things. I don't know what they were thinking with that. Yeah. And we saw some absolutely hilariously terrible boss AI. Oops. Uh, where was the final dungeon? I am now trying to recall where that was relative to everything. We'll find it eventually. I'm looking for... I don't even really see it on the map. Hmm. I'm essentially looking for like a little piece of land that has a big gap in the center, like a donut hole. No. Where where was that? I don't even remember. We went by it once on the flight. Like looking at the world map, I'm not really seeing where it is. We'll find it eventually. And then I'll pause at the map and take a look. So it showed us what it looked like, but the problem is like... There's enough of an area that I just don't remember. Honestly. The Great Journey is for the final dungeon. I don't even have a general sense of where that was relative to anything, sadly. So we're just looking for basically anything. No, it's not here. Uh, we were at Pandemonium earlier. Was it near Pandemonium? No. Honestly, I'm tempted to also look up a world map. I, I really don't know where this is. We're going to be here for like five minutes, like no joke. I don't know which island chain it was. It wasn't to the southeast because we've been there before. It's not here, because this is the arena. Question marks. We were here before. We got that item. I'm looking for the final dungeon, Calvisham. Where is the final dungeon? Is it here? No. Yeah, like it... I, I know what the island looks like. I don't know what the island looks like on the world map. Wait, what was this place? Hold on. Reminder. Oh, Demon Lab, that's right. Was it here? No. I genuinely don't know. <laughs> and when I look at the map, nothing looks like the island that I was shown. 
I might just pause to look it up. I, I have not found it in just random searching so far. So I know I'm looking for like a, a ring island with a, a gap in the middle. But when I look at the world map, I don't see an island with a gap in the middle. So that doesn't really help me annihilate it or limit, eliminate any options. I know it's not in the southeast because the island there is pandemonium. I went to the tip of the continent above it. It's not that one. I went dead east of here. I don't think it's that. I'll double check. Like it should just be like randomly in here. Yeah, I was thinking it had to be like sort of near Aldehyde, but like I just genuinely don't see it. Is this like there's that? Unless it's like over here somewhere. Oh, oh, cute. It's not on the map. No wonder why I can't find it. Chat, that's not my fault. It's not on the map. Thanks, map. It's not like this wasn't here before. Like, the tower wasn't here before, but this island was definitely here before. I feel better, chat. I I think they forgot to put it on the map. Right? Like, it, it's just definitely not there. I'll even move so you can see that it's just not there. That's very rude. Thank you, Calvisham. I was looking for this earlier. I couldn't find it out. Welcome, Chris. So I believe we got to do our little toot on the flute and then we'll be able to walk across that we haven't used that in so long anyway time to go to Kaldingle. no the island's been there forever the tower emerged oh boomerang was the name of the ninja i couldn't remember i knew if i waited here you would come eventually secret is after the new moon called malduk this is the dimensional elevator, Kaldingle, which leads to the space colony. Oh, are we literally becoming space cowboys? That's very cowboy bebop of them, almost. Why are you telling us this? What do you want? Malduk is a colony that existed a thousand years ago. That has the capability to attack Filgaia. It's easy to guess what Siegfried plans to do with it once he acquires it. Now that you know, I'm sure you plan to head to Malduk but there will be many people who will get in your way, including me. You can't go ahead unless you defeat me. Come, human warriors. Only battle will quench my thirsty heart. I thirst for the fight. Well, time to absolutely wreck this boss. Sorry, Lucid, you're also about to get dunked on. Oh yeah, I never upgraded Wild Bunch. I guess I could try doing that later. Um, you know what? As a little joke, we'll use Trickster. How's that, Chad? Just a little, little, little teehee funny. <laughs> we'll go do that. Uh, how badly do I need to lower their speed is the question I'm asking myself. Or should I just burst the dog? I think I should probably just kill the dog outright. Yeah, let, let's kill the dog. Oh, we're even out speeding? Straight up? Really? Dog has nothing. Oh, we're out speeding? Yeah, I don't need to... Good thing I didn't go for that. Hmm. This is getting Show us the dog. You're about to see the dog. Alright, that did okay damage. How much is this going to do, though? <laughs> that, that's it? That's all it's going to do? You did only three digits to me? I've... Almost 4,000 health. Oh, that was sad. Well, time for you to die. Uh, you know what? It's time to get Angie. Book of Marja Chaos. Oh, we are so over level for this fight. And that was it. Overpowered, overgeared. Isn't that like a 95% hit chance, chat? Oh, that's so sad. That's all they could do. Oh, 93, excuse me. That's so sad. Oh, chat, we're absolutely going to dunk this boss. You know what? Since we got time, let, let's just Chris him in the face. If it heals the boss, it doesn't matter. I don't think this boss is long for this world. That did okay damage. 
just absolutely annihilated. Go ahead, hit me for damage, who cares? I'm not even gonna heal on this boss fight. You know what? Take Wild Bunch, or not Wild Bunch, take a... Uh, take a phaser to the face. I guess I'll trickster you as a joke, and then, uh... I don't know, what do I feel like? Yeah, we'll rob him in the face, why not? Rob's here. Let's see, any items worth taking? Has nothing, no one's surprised. Oh, that did very little damage. Rip. <laughs> Poor Rob. Rob Rob's spell damage fell off on this boss, apparently. Let's see. Meteor dive. I'm not, I'm not even gonna bother to heal. We're just gonna we're just gonna do it. Who cares? Uh we'll crush him in the face too, why not? I think this boss is almost dead. I did 999 already, straight up. He's like two phasers from death, I would guess. Oh, that did some damage. Fine, I guess I'll heal since that actually did damage. We'll dual cast. Actually, you know what? We are just gonna do Meteor Dive. We're gonna dual cast. I'll heal into Chris. I think he forced my hand on that one. Although he might die before the heal goes off, honestly. Yeah, I do feeling. This is. I have no regrets. Absolutely savaged. 11,000 XP. No money. Well, given that he didn't give money, I guess he's not really dead. I witnessed the potential of human beings is endless. Oh, did we straight up kill the dog, though? Go. Go through here to defeat Siegfried. I like this. Power used to protect something precious. Someday I... You have overstepped your bounds one too many times. Boom! We are finished with you. <laughs> Why do you say boom? You will die with the humans. Right here, right now. Boom, chat. Go, humans. I'll take it from here. Hunter. Or, excuse me. Boomerang. There's a transport device on top of Cardingle. I'm letting you guys go. I'm not saving you. Remember, I am the one who hunts the perfect prey. Until that day, my friends. Go now. Hurry. I will never stop unless I lose my desire to fight. Come, Lucid, guardian of desire. Oh, never mind, he's fine, apparently. Lucid, we're gonna take a little trip to hell together. Shall return to hunt the perfect prey. The humans turn hope into power. Now they can turn my desire into a blade. You're gonna hope to survive, Pizal, Zami, Kaboom, exactly, Rob. Can I just go back outside? Oh, there's his blade. Okay. Wait. I'll be back? What is he, Arnold? Is it not a weapon? I would have thought that would have been a weapon, but I'm not seeing a choice here. Huh. Just double checking I didn't miss it in this wall of items. Hmm. Okay. Where clock and tower, pretty much. Oh yeah, Th this is not the final dungeon though, Rob. We're in the elevator to the final dungeon. Mega Berry is acquired, okay. I'm assuming there's random fights here. 
that question. Um... This should be fine. I don't think it really matters what I do at this point with this character. Sadly, the enemy resistance seems to have caught up to her damage. I guess I'll just investigate them. Oh, not even needed. 4444 4, 4, 4, 4, XP. Bonk. I'm doing this to avoid encounters in case chat is wondering why I'm bonking randomly. Actually, was there something over here? No. Strange device seals the door. Well, I see the switch I need to hit. Bonk. Oh, you like the Black Panther from RJ Chaos? Bonk. There we go. on re-angle. There we go. Yeah, I got to one of the switches. That put a statue there. What does that do for me? Oh, okay. Now I see where it goes. <laughs> um... Should be fun. Oh, encounter. I had to move to reposition the bonk. Sword Kasi. Deal with these. I'll make her defend. I don't really need her doing anything, to be honest. So if they do attack, it's probably better she just defends. Wow, they're outspeeding Cowboy by that much. Kinda sucks. So how much XP are two of them worth? 6,000? That's not fair for a normal encounter, potentially getting 9,000 XP for very minimal fight effort compared to the BS of uh, Paralysis Cloud in the other dungeon. So we have a whole bunch of things we could do over there. Do I want to go back first? No, let's, let's complete at least the beginning part. I'll go back. Oh, can we not just blow this up? Oh, this is being finicky with me, never mind. That was certainly a sound effect. I mean, at least the XP is kind of decent. I might as well do this. This is a very convenient elevator. Welcome to Wild Arms, where nothing is convenient. But don't worry, all the bosses will somehow have navigated this without doing any of this. They'll be waiting for us. So there's like an outer area. I got nothing of interest there. Another lucky card. Okay, I could get one more XP up if I want later. It's not too bad. Or do I have two? Might have two. Yeah, I have two. Alright, so I could do two level ups before the end of the game if I want to. Hmm. 
sure how to reach there. There's something I could have done over here that I missed doing. Is that just gonna loop me back inside? Not really. Okay. So I see the room I have to go to. I'm just not sure how to get to it. Can I choose not to fight you? Okay, good. All right, let's uh, tell him uh, it's John Cena time because I don't feel like being seen right now. So we open up that doorway and that just lets a chest, but that didn't really do anything for us per se. This way. I need to like somehow get beyond here. Like I'm trying to see how we get to the balcony. We go through here and I go back to the door I was just at. Was there something I could have done at the door that would have changed anything? Man, that needs to last way longer, chat. Like, that is that is obscene how fast that wears off. Yeah, because I just end up here. I don't really gain anything from doing this. So am I missing a door somewhere? I didn't think I was. That's why I'm a little confused right now. That door doesn't open anything, even though I opened it with that. Like, it just loops me back to where I was already. Unless it's one of those dumb doors where you gotta go back through it the other way for something to happen. I guess this is new. Yeah, I guess this is new. Because that was locked. Oh, that's right, it was locked before. Alright, so nothing to do over there. That's fine. We're gonna ride... How... How did... Why didn't he... Why didn't he bonk? That was actually kind of annoying. He, like... He actually, like, corrected himself. I didn't want him to do that. Oops. No, these enemies are not worth the time. Miraculously, I think maybe due to our level, I'm able to run away. So if they have a level-based escape system, that'll be kind of disappointing for me. Because it feels like we haven't failed an escape, unlike the other times we've done it. So let's get the items we saw earlier. Another full revive, potentially for a bonus boss if I want. That is an unfortunate correction. I don't- I didn't actually want to roll up there. So we still have a door we can't open. But we have the statue room, I think, above us now. That is so unfortunate that he does that. Need him just to go here. Magic carrot acquired. Okay. The game is really making sure I have items for the end of the game. Like, here's all the healing. Please don't die. I promise you, you got full revives, you'll be fine. Fine, I'll kill these for the sake of killing these. Oof. Nah, we, we could get 9k XP. Gonna still take forever to level. Uh, so let's see what this does. Seriously? This game loves to push things way further than I'm pressing. Like, it is ultra sensitive in how far it pushes. I think it doesn't go, like, tile-based necessarily. Like, in A Link to the Past, it, it'll just keep sliding. It's, it's kind of ridiculous, actually. Thankfully, the bosses don't care to use them. It would be interesting if the bosses could use items. We haven't seen a boss try to heal itself at all, which I think is probably for the best, given how some of the AI is gone. Alright, so presumably I opened up the center door, but where did the stairs go? Oh, no, no, that's the other side of the door. Um, yeah. <laughs> I guess we'll continue. They really want to make sure you have a lot of MP recovery. Like, here's like six magic carrots, four full revives. Hasenberg? I guess I'll phaser it in the face. We'll investigate them, why not? I mean, I have the endgame sword. So they're really not going to do anything to me. Oh, 
Oh my god. Wait, how many floors is this elevator before we use the elevator part of the elevator? Chat, what is going on? Elevator, please. Holy. Can you imagine if this was like your commute to work? Like, hold on, guys. I gotta, I gotta push the four statues. Hit the three switches. And I just shove it down the hole. Statue falls. Oh, that that didn't open the door. That felt that felt like the solution, but okay. It's fine. We'll leave it there for now. Maybe I have to do it twice. Bang's average commute. Poor Bang. Oh, come on. No. This enemy's not even worth the time. Chad, he's like a 20th of the XP I need to level. I don't care. I don't want to fight these enemies. I'm so overleveled. Game, please. Let me skip this encounter. I beg of you. It's so boring. I just want to do dungeons and bosses. I don't... No, no more random encounters. I'm done with them. It would, it would literally take like 20-ish on some of the characters. Oh, we're down below 40k at least now, thankfully, I guess. Not worth it. Wait, I can't move the statue? Okay, what do you want me to do then? Guess I had to go to this one first. So much for recognizing patterns. The game's like, nah, we're just gonna make it different. Okay. What is this? Ever played Earthbound? I have, I was not a fan. I never completed the game. I it it went for really quirky and it did the the humor did not appeal to me at all. So it's just like swing it swing and a miss for me. Did not enjoy playing it. I got fed up around the time I had to fight like a trash monster, and then I just died to poison damage because I didn't bring enough cure poisons, and I went, you know what? I don't think I'm gonna bother completing this game. I went, I don't think this game is for me. I'm not having fun with it. Yeah. They had a mechanic to skip battles, but it's like the problem was like... If I ever got to the point where I did skip battles, I usually just felt too overpowered. And it kind of just ruined the game for me most of the time. So it's either just like... I have to get through very annoying sets of enemies, or I'm so powerful I just one-shot the encounter. I don't, like, it was an interesting idea, I just don't think it worked for me, personally. Is there something else I could have done in this room? I'm not understanding something. So we moved a statue down. I can't seem to interact with the other one at all. Presum I thought dropping the statue here would open this up, but it didn't. So I don't know what to do on the right side. Do rocket launcher into meteor dives, maybe? Hmm. Welcome to Parameter. Hope you're doing well. Hmm. Shimura. 
I mean, is there something I could have done in the... Hold on. Before we go further, I just want to see if there's something we could have done over here. Okay, I'm told them I don't want to be seen right now. So, is it... See, I would have thought I would have been able to push this, but I can't. Can I push it around? Can I interact with the statue? No. I don't understand what the purpose of this room is. Okay. I'm gonna check one side on the right, right side, and then I'm gonna go back a floor. Welcome, Dango. Because we could see we could do stuff here. I clearly have to go from the left side up, but I'm not able to... Man, that invisibility does not last long enough. It's like they gave me a tool, but like the rate at which you need to burn it is absolutely insane. So I, I can't open this. Oh, oh, you know what? I see what it wants me to do. I'm sorry. See, that's not fair to me because early in the dungeon, that tile like that was where I had to push it last time. I think it wants me to do this instead. I'm going to say from a design philosophy, don't reuse the thing where you have to put the statue if that's not where it has to go. Do you know what I mean, chat? Because I thought, because the previous floor, that's where I had to push it. Not that I had to line it up with other statues. I don't like that, actually, from a design aspect. That did confuse me because they did that. Yeah. Okay. Go this way. <laughs> we'll just bonk in here, no problem. Oh, it's one of these puzzles. Do you want all the doors closed, I guess? Let me reset the doors. Let me do this one. Actually, no, no, no. Undo this one. And if I undo this, it's both of them, right? Okay. really don't like puzzle dungeons. Let me think about this. So it's a set of three. I'm used to lines of four. I've never actually done it with just three before. Let me think about this for a moment. I imagine... I imagine it wants me to jump off the railing, maybe, to shortcut this. I'm just trying to think of the rest of the design. So let, let's investigate the room very briefly. So I can touch the right switch, for example, if I wanted to, and then fall off, or I could touch the left switch. But does that help me in any way to complete the puzzle? We're gonna choose not to move because random encounters are horrible. I think the problem is, I don't think I can complete the puzzle as is. And I, let me reset this. I wonder if this will work. I gotta go back up, I think. The most convenient elevator known to man, God Dingle. <laughs> Screw those commuters. They don't need. They don't need to get anywhere in any timely fashion. Bloodhorn. All right. After we're done with this, I'm just gonna leave heal, and then we'll figure things out from there. Okay, so that is strong enough to kill, at least.
bonk. Her melee weapon upgrade is so pointless. Rip her melee weapon in. Okay. Feels so sad I can't skate around. My bad, I gotta go this way to go that way. Alright, so I think what it wants me to do is this. I had to think about it for a moment. It's the first real puzzle in the game. We've had other puzzles. The game loves puzzles. Bonk. Nectar acquired. What's the point of this area? It doesn't even lead anywhere. Talka had a puzzle, if you could call it that. We were doing rainbows earlier. What, are you, what is Chat talking about? You don't remember the rainbow earlier? We had a color puzzle. Last session, even. Go through here. Don't need those. So I could go through there. Are there any other chests before we go through that ominous door? Oh, the stairs upwards? Wait, the what, the what is the door? I thought this was progress. Oh, all that for a single chest? Metal shield acquired. That's it? I don't care about that. I'm also not gonna lie, defense in this game, not exciting. Don't really care about it at this point. Would rather have literally anything else. Ambrosia acquired. Punch it, can I blow it up? Can I light it on fire? Figured something would activate it. There we go. It's a shield of metal. I, I would have liked punching it, to be honest. I feel like the power glove is really underutilized in this game. Where is the end of this dungeon? I just... Wait, wait, how do they commute? How is this their daily commute? This is BS. No wonder why their civilization died off. This is their fault, chat. Thankfully, the demons destroyed this monstrosity of, good, of the civilization. If they thought this was okay... Seriously? Are you gonna are you gonna force me to go back? Wait, how does that work? Can I undo these? Okay. Do I have any I can I guess I have to use the watch? That's really stupid. So I have a time limit for some. Like, this is the most arbitrary building I've ever seen. They're just like, they're like, you know what? You want to use the space elevator? Listen, you got to bring your bombs or you just get soft locked. <laughs> Screw this civilization chat. <laughs> Why are there more floors? Just, please get to the end. This dungeon is way too long for what it is. You're killing me. I wonder why it was a tower. These guys are idiots. <laughs> what the heck is this? <laughs> why? Am I doing a fellow now? What is happening? Is it going to hit all the surrounding switches? Ugh. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Wild arms. This is such insane padding. Holy.
This is insane padding. Holy. Huh, indeed. Oh my gosh, chat. I hate... But then they have a gap in the middle, so I can't... Like, I've done games like this before, but they don't usually leave a gap in the middle, so I have to think about this again. Oh, it's so annoying. So, I basically have to rotate very slowly, I would imagine, in a circle. And then this will be resolved. So I just pick a direction, I guess. Guess I guess I just need to focus on the other ones. Huh is not a command rob. Blue Donna is though. So I guess I just kind of. Uh, I think it's something like. I think it's something like this. If it's like middle upper, because then that can flip the switches in the middle. Although, I think I need to do- maybe I have to do it in the other order. Hold on, let me just reset. I'm not sure if it makes a difference with the order. I'm, this is like way too early in the morning for me to be thinking. Just, I just wanted to go to the final dungeon. Okay, let's try this again. So there's like... I think we have to always start with one of these sides. And then the question is more like using the corners to fix things. Because this will flip it left, then it'll flip it right. Actually, does it matter if I do top or bottom first? I guess as long as I'm consistent with it, it might not matter. It might not matter here. Because eventually, I think I have to do top last if I do this. So it's like middle, lower, upper. Then I flip sides, I think. Or maybe I go lower first. So I want to fix the left side. My brain is parsing this. I hate these puzzles. Alright, so let me just think it through. I'm flipping it through in my head. So we did middle, I did lower, I did upper. Do I fix the left side first or the left side? That's what I'm thinking about right now. I, maybe I fix the middle first, because I, I feel like I do puzzles wrong the first time usually. My gut instinct would be to fix the left side first. Maybe I have to fix the right side or middle first. Maybe this will work. It really, really matters which one I do here. Yeah, and then I can fix the right side. I think this will work, because now that the whole right side is completed. So it's more like... What combination of flips here will fix this? I guess it doesn't matter if I do top or bottom. I think this is solved. Yeah, I think this is solved. As long as I do this. Oh, switches. How is that? How is this not immediately the next area? Why is there a save point? Please tell me we're not at the halfway point of this dungeon, and this is the exit. Aren't the strongest where I cannot stop them, but can they stop le levers? Pretty much. Uh, can I read this? Mention all various commencing its operation, correcting vector. The third colony of Malduke selected. Okay, thankful- okay, we're good. You have broken one of my masterpieces! Lady Hawkin no longer functions with us! <laughs> You're enjoying this, aren't you? Playing with human lives. Oh yeah! I just want to play with my toys all day! You know, take an arm off, attach this, this here. Discount Fennel, pretty much. <clears throat> By the time I'm done, you have no idea what animal it is. Now isn't that fun? By then they look at you with these funny eyes and say, kill me. <laughs> the ignorant ones feel Gaia, but I really don't care. But I can't allow you to stop my fun. 
So, I came here to take care of the problem myself. Do you want to see the inside of this robe? It isn't cheap. Oh. Let him cook, says Rob. <laughs> Just take people apart? Oh. That's a weird design. Guess I'll just phaser him real quick. Um, I don't have a reason to slow him down yet, so I guess I'll doki angry him. I think he did flash us. I'm already out speeding, so I'm gonna say I don't need to lower his response time. I think that's been a good call so far, just not bother using that. It's only been useful in the bonus bosses. Super transmitted mega crash? And how much damage does this do? Oh, that does like a significant amount. It's a more challenging boss, I guess. I'll just use Resta, because not everybody's a fool. Alhaza Symphony. How much is this going to do? Eh. Okay, mount. I guess I could see if he has items real quick, because it's always funny to check. Man, these bosses are garbage. <laughs> we are absolutely talking about this in the review. What is the point of the steal command, Chad? It either doesn't work or there's nothing to steal. There's no in-between. Oh, you five years me? Oh, that's just rude. Well, fine. Two can play at that game. Actually, you might be dead on this, to be honest with you. Phaser's kind of OP. I'll do Slash Rave for Calvisha. I don't believe in it at all, though. Um, you know what? I'll just curse him in the face. It did the same damage as Meteor Dive. I'm not impressed. But it did damage, I guess. And dead. No! No way! Humans can't do that! They can't! 10,000 experience acquired. Girl is leveled. Well, Girl already couldn't get two shot, so her getting more HP probably helps. He's doing the wiggle. I will not accept death before Malduk's revival. I will not accept this. I will not die. Oh, he, he got squished. Revenge, hatred. I didn't defeat you with that. I de defeated you because I protected the ones I love. The dark cloud in Hunter's heart lifts away. The doubt is gone. Double attack force acquired. Oh, now you acquire it? We're at the end of the game. Wait, waited like, uh, waited just like sandbag on that. You could have just done that the whole time. What a jerk. Mental Invader's power switch. Then it's like switch the Malduke. Do you want to turn it on? Sure. So, this is the dimensional elevator. The new moon is in the ocean of stars, Malduk. This will take us there. So, Destiny takes us to the final battleground in this strange place. There's nothing to think about. I'm going now. Not for myself, but for the planet I love. I don't ever want to lose anything again. <laughs> Cowboy just nods. He's like, dialogue is for other protagonists. Okay. So now we're in the final dungeon. Listen to that music. We... question is... Okay, before we go too much further... Okay, so I can go back if I want to. Is there anything else I should do before I beat the game? Because I'm not sure how long it is. I'm assuming the final tool is in there. If I need it for bonus content, I'm not sure. So it's like... What purpose does it serve? Hmm. 
I guess I should at least find the final tool. I might need it. It might be something stupid, like I get all the way to the end, it's like, Oh, you don't have the Divine Translator? Well, clearly you're not ready for the bonus dungeon. Let's just go get the tool. When we get the tool, we'll leave. Anyway. Peaceful music as we fly up to heaven. Zap. Actually, does the game think in diagonals? Yes. All that for a treasure chest. Nectar acquired. Why was there a gap there? Okay. Um. I don't think this helps me. This looks like I would come from the other way and zip here. So I could move this if I want to. Unless I could push it down here. Not that makes a difference, but we did that. So sad when we get hit by that. So it stairs downwards. Hey, we've seen non-tile-based games refuse to do diagonal before. Look at East. East hates diagonals, especially East 1. Bezelzine, sure. Uh, I'll just do some basic guns here. Do... Let's see, Meteor Dive. Bezel mm. Dango. Ooh, no damage. He's immune to light damage. That's kind of annoying. Powerful blow. How powerful is it? Not very powerful. Alright, uh, does Hell Cleave do damage? If you're immune to light? I guess we'll not find out this time. Hunter is leveled. Or Dango. Your spells are normally good, but they might just be immune to you. If only I could chuck bombs. So there's a pipe I could clearly take. Is there anything I could do here? No, that's not a path, okay. So we got another weapon. Arc Smash acquired. It's kind of a little too late, unless I literally decide to leave. Like, rolling air weapon all. I, I I guess that's why they gave it such a high base attack power, I guess. So in theory, I could upgrade this if I want to. I'm at 100,000 or so money. So if I use the secret signs on the island, I could probably upgrade it to max just to see what it's like. With very minimal grinding. Because money usually takes forever to acquire. Only getting like 3,000 a battle and needing like 200,000 plus for it is kind of brutal. So I don't think I'll be able to fix its uh, accuracy to any meaningful measure. It might be one of those ones we just lock on constantly. So, okay, so we cleared that, cleared that. Is there another door we could take from here? No. Hmm. Okay. Let me think about this. Was there some... Maybe it did want me to do something with the zips? I didn't think we could do anything with that. Hmm. Uh, 
Uh... Oh, 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 I'm sorry. Just remember, there was a mechanic. Yep, exactly, Dego. I forgot. We used that like literally once in my defense. We used it like literally once and we have not had a reason to use it since then. I had to think about that actually. That's kind of the problem when you introduce too many tools with mechanics. It's like, I forget every use of the tool because we just don't use it at all. Uh, let's use Hulk here. Had to think about that. Yeah, like outside of the... In oh, it's immune to Hellcleave as well. Are you just immune to magic? That kind of sucks. Hmm. XP is kind of not worth it, but I might as well just take the easy level up since I was already there. See, so yeah, our HP is pretty good on Cowboy. Girls HP, if it hit 3,000, I would feel happy. Yeah, we've done this, I think, literally one other time in the game. And that was, like, the first time we got it. Which is, like, intuitive, but the problem is, like, if you don't use it for, like, seven hours or so, you don't remember every use of the weapon. Oh, well, that's just rude. Security system malfunction, primary defensive line deactivated, shifting to emergency status. Okay. Do you see what I mean about this chat? Like, this is just mean. <laughs> Why? Why? The grappling hook needs to be a little more generous, I'm just saying. That, that hitbox. Oh, it's a different enemy type. Um, let's use some rocket launchers on him, meteor dive. I guess I could... I just don't think anything will hit. I guess I could just do generic damage, like investigate might work. Okay, and generic elementless magic works. There we go. So we're making some progress. Can I bomb these out of spite? I can. All that just to get a save point. Okay. checking this room one more time. Okay, I would like to not do this battle, of course. Game, please. Wow, that did literally zero to her. That's actually pretty sad. I'm not gonna lie, that was... That was kind of pathetic on the enemy's behalf. They can't hit our mage character. I'm assuming it was a magic attack, given that uh, the other characters took damage and she did not. I would have thought Earthshaker would have been physical, but... Oh well. We're so far from leveling if we fight in this dungeon. Now we could go here. Get rid of you. So we're gonna go from the far left first. There's a lever up there. You open the door. Okay. And what's in the door? Treasure chest. Guitar acquired? 
The guitar Hunter acquired is called the Guitar of Maya. You call any monsters around you into a fight right away. Ew. Ew. I don't I don't want that. <laughs> Ew, no. Maybe if I'm power leveling in that one area, maybe. Well, I guess we're just gonna can we just eke out of here? <gasps> we can't. Oh. That's unfortunate. Let, okay, now that we got the tool, is there anything this will let us do? Yeah, I'm like, I'm already... I don't want to use it for its intended purpose here. So let's try to leave. We'll come back. We're going to double check to see if we had anything to do. I guess I can, in theory, just go to the bonus dungeon. So if I had... Hunter's guitar kills skills are completely trash. The monsters come to shut him up. I think so. Oh, Rob does damage. There we go. Guess we can have Rob damage on these enemies. Since they're apparently immune to light and dark for some reason. Rob gets more time to shine. Alright, so we officially have every tool in the game. We have every force power. So I can go back. In theory, I could upgrade the weapon. I guess if I want to do the bonus dungeon, I should probably just use our secret signs first. The audience applauds the use of Sir Rob X, yeah. So we're just gonna go ahead and... Okay, we can eke out of here. Alright, we're out of there. <laughs> right, right, chat, we're like, we're done. Let's leave this area. So... We have a mystery item we don't know what to do with yet. And we puzzle out what the game wants us to do with this. So remember, we got the Saber Fang. Said something about the perfect prey, he'll come back to hunt. Is it possible he'll come back in the battle arena? Because, like, if, if we're assuming they copy Final Fantasy, maybe they maybe they played Final Fantasy uh, 6, and they really like the idea of how Shadow was recruited in that game in the world of Ruin. <laughs> so I don't have any other ideas of where to use it, so we'll go there in a moment. But I think before we do that... Let's oops over to Saint Centaur, because I don't feel like paying for my healing. I'm going to assume we have to go to the battle arena for it. And something will happen. Either we have to give it to the guy that's in charge of the arena, or we literally just do an arena fight while we have them. But before we do that, we're going to try to get some money. We're going to burn our secret signs. Can we use the guitar in the overworld? I've never tried using tools before here. No, not really. Yeah, doesn't do anything. Though the one the one time I would want to use the chat, it, it we can't use it, of course. So we're gonna go down here. We're gonna get into two fights with the secret signs. And that'll be the last time I purposely try to level. Because I do want money for the other tools. In case we get yet another tool, we could say we got money. We're at 122,000 right now. Our stats are looking pretty good. I don't think I have the thing that increases encounter rate. Oh, right. I forgot I had a full heal. Oh, no, no. It's for allies. I'm sorry. Single ally. I thought that was a party heal. I was like, was there something stronger than Resta? If I don't auto-run from these encounters, I'm gonna lose my mind. We're looking for one very specific fight. So sorry that we're back at this, but we have two secret signs. If we get like 100,000... Yella, I might be able to make the other weapon usable. No. 
I don't think we'll level from just one because we need 80,000 plus to level. And I think we only get 80,000 literally from the other encounter. I think this is promising. Never mind. So we're looking for the rare encounter here. Once we have that, we'll uh, go to a place to upgrade our gun. I don't want these encounters. I wish there was something to increase rare enemy up or something like that. As uh, I know Etrian Odyssey had a thing like that, where if all you wanted were the rare or shiny hunts, there was a, an ability you could use in the later games for it. Is that even gonna hurt me? Uh, a little bit. It, like, tickled the other characters. It's interesting it could actually go down to zero, at least. Yeah, you know an enemy's weak when girl can melee you to death. Come on. What do I need to level? Oh, actually, we're under 80,000 now, thanks to the other fights. Okay, so then one battle will level us, then. Come on. <laughs> right, Jack? Come on. Well, I could even just do one to level. As I said before, I'm more worried about girl taking 3,000 for no reason than I am anything else. I believe the other characters should just survive at this point. If I need to give them the HP up, then so be it. So, for example, Cowboy could have the thing that he's immune to status ailments, but I think it'd be better on Hunter. Game, please. We're playing the RNG game, chat. You know how much I love RNG. We want only one very specific fight. No other fight is worth doing here. Come on. Give us the one I'm looking for. No. You can do a game. I believe in you. I think you'll troll me a lot first, but I believe you'll eventually give me the thing I'm looking for. Come on. No. Is it gonna arc smash them because it's funny? Fight over. So yeah, you see we're getting like 210 money from battle. We need like literally hundreds of thousands to upgrade. So we completed the town upgrade of Aldehyde. We don't have use for money other than upgrading the new arm we got. Giving it raw power could be interesting. Oh, this is torturous, chat. Please, just give me the thing I'm looking for. Do not make me go learn new spells. So I think we missed some spell glyphs somewhere. So we didn't 100% all the spells, sadly. And that's fine. We have way more than enough that we would ever reasonably need. Arguably, I only really needed like 16 total, maybe even less. I think having the basic elements is good. Kirk plus plus. Uh, slow down, buff damage, full heal, minor heal. Honestly, beyond that, I'm not really sure. I guess cure status ailment is nice. Sadly, we have to do this encounter because we can't seem to run from it for some reason, even though we're clearly overpowered. Come on. Just one... We'll, we'll, we'll... You know what? We'll not even do two. Just give me one of the enemy I'm looking for. No. Come on, Wild Arms. You're wasting everybody's time. Please just give the encounter. And then we can move on. It's like hunting for the rare boss and like speaking in uh, three all over again. No. I don't even think they can hurt us. They're gonna do like 50 damage or something stupid. 34, pretty close. 
There you happy game, I'm mashing auto attack. So if we could get that other encounter, I might have enough to upgrade one of our weapons that we just acquired. I don't even need to heal from this, it's just this very sad amount of damage that they're doing. It was at least worth 2,000 money. At this point, I'll take it. Come on. Wonder what determines their spawn rate. Is it based off of our like current luck score at all? Because I have terrible luck across basically everybody. Hunter's feeling super lucky apparently. I'm shaking my head, Chad. Is this really not happening? I think one safety level up would be nice. Come on, just give it to us. So pointless. These fights aren't even worth doing. They're worth like a, like a 40th of the other fight. And they waste so many resources. Come on, do it. Wild arms, please. It did not take this long the other times we tried getting them. It took, we got it in like five or like eight. This is actually crazy. Fine, you don't want to give it to us? We'll kill these enemies just because. You happy game? I'm burning my MP. Ocean berries, don't need those. We have enough generic healing, I could get through any dungeon at this point. This is unreal. Game please. I would love to know what the odds are of getting the rare encounter. I would love to know if anybody knew. This is so silly. Come on. And again, it might be influenced by our character luck, but it's like, I don't know if I want good luck or bad luck necessarily. Like, is it bad luck to hit the rare encounter that's harder than normal? Or good luck to get the rare encounter that's harder than normal? Jeez, come on. One day, chat. One day. I'm, I'm being driven wild by this. Why is this taking so long? Come on. Again, we, we got it in like 10 minutes, not even 10 minutes. We got it in like five minutes last time. This is ridiculous. Please give us the other encounter. I feel like at this point, I'm going to start counting how many we've run away from or attacked. Like, do you only do it in the corner here? Am I touching the forest or something by accident? Nope. One. Right, chat. We're we're. I'm starting to count now. If we if I count to ten and we still don't have it, I'm moving on. I would like to use the secret signs, but if the game doesn't give us a chance to do so, then I will just move on to. There we go, I'm in the corner, just for the game. Green terrain. Or... I'm deeply disappointed in Wild Arms right now. Layers of RNG. Do a little run around the side here.
five. I didn't think we had to fight in the forest. Do a couple here just because. Six. Wow, this is brutal. How bad this RNG is. Seven. Three more chat and I'm giving up. We're just gonna go back to town and upgrade with what we got. I wanted just a very quick upgrade. Like we would have gotten like 80,000 or so in cash. So sad. There we go. Jeez, that was like 30 attempts. Cause I almost counted to 10 and we, <laughs> we did more than double that before then. Holy, that took way too long. Oh, anyway, I guess we'll use Arc Smash in a moment. I'll use Rocket Launcher for now. Let's use Trickster, I guess, and we'll do... Hmm. Let's do Angry on Hunter. So on the off chance, I need another key. I'll try a couple of times to get it, and then we'll move on. So we don't have a lot of phaser shots, but their damage is very bad against us. Let's do lock on with wild bunch. Oh wait, that doesn't hit everybody? Wait, didn't it say all? Wait. Oh, maybe it's one of those things where it just doesn't point it out. Okay, there we go. I just didn't see the other indicator. Good, good, good. Uh, I'll go for a trickster again. Guess I could teach them base tank. So yeah, they're barely doing damage there. Let's see how much this does. Not that much. Hmm. It's a little concerning, actually. I'm gonna switch over to Rocket Launcher. I'm gonna use Trickster again, and I'm gonna use Wide Open on one of the targets. By the time I Wide Open again, I'm just gonna stop using Trickster, so that way I can actually get a kill. Okay, lower defense, good. So I could say it at least went for some attempts in case we need more keys for the final dungeon. So we'll do another rocket launcher. I could use heal blade on her. Should be fine. I think even his healing amount is stronger, which will be useful. Human experimentation. Probably gonna hit Cowboy just to annoy me. Yep. Had a feeling, chat. Had a feeling. <clears throat> we'll do wide open on this guy, and then we'll start doing some serious damage. I'm gonna tell her to use the card maybe next. Please don't confuse Cowboy. <sighs> One of the only status ailments that would end Come on. Just let, let him do his abilities, please. Killing me game. The stall tactics are real. Yeah, we got Lucky Card out of the way. So now I could just focus on damage and go for the kill here. Target Hunter, please. Why? Stop it! <laughs> Double attack. Okay, we'll heal blade into... I don't know. We'll do slash rave, I guess. Let's do dual cast of Resta into... 
I don't know what else would be useful here. I don't think it really matters. Guess I could try to lock state to prevent myself from getting status ailmented, maybe? It barely seems to work, or it only works on one turn. I can't really tell. Yep, that did no damage. Thank you, Slash Rave. Wasn't his luck best, by the way? <laughs> and it did that little. Oh, now they're gonna go for damage, of course. Fortunately, I'm only taking 900 or so instead of like a thousand plus. Cow Cowboy can now Fury Shot. I wonder if that'll do a lot of damage. We'll go for it. We'll do uh, Cosmic Nova here, and then I'll do... I guess we'll do Meat Shields on Hunter so he survives. Yeah, that did double the damage of the other thing. Hopefully this means it can't miss if I do this. We'll find out, though. If it hits, this should save us a lot of time. Yeah, that did good damage. So I think upgrading that could be useful for re regular encounter clears, but we'll see. So we'll do Phaser into Cosmic Nova into Resta. So one dead. So I'll try to trickster with Hunter, but at least we know both of them are pretty close to dead. So if we don't get another duplicator, it's kind of whatever at this point. Phaser into trickster into melee. Might kill here? Might need another phaser with trickster only doing that little damage. Couldn't steal, whatever. Just bully the enemy. Yeah, we'll need another phaser attack, I think. Nice dodge. Oh, a counter attack? She's going in. Hellboy is absolutely gonna end the fight here. Goodbye. Use Trickster. Regular melee, why not? Fight over. There we go. 80,000 experience. Everybody leveled 60,000 money. So yeah, if we do have a bonus boss, Girl now has above 3,000 health, which might be relevant. Hunter has like 200 more than when he did the Illusion King, so he might be able to survive a similar attack. And Cowboy is almost 4,000, so that's pretty good. Let's go ahead and oops back to Aldehyde, I think. See if we can take advantage of this money at all. So yeah, we got a safety level. Could result in higher response time, too. So the magic resistance is going up because I think he was at 86 in the previous session when we checked like midway through and it's already up to 92. That could also make a small difference in survival. Uh, I'm going to worry about restoring our ammo later. Yes, we buy more bullet clip expansions or something. So we'll try to go to the arena. If nothing happens there, then it'll be kind of whatever. I don't know how to activate it. Um, and then I guess I could try the bonus dungeon today. Depending on how that goes, it'll determine whether we beat the game today or not. 7,000 upgrade the damage. Okay. Much for this one. Both of them go up by 25. Rip all of our money. Get another bullet or two here. Wild Bunch's accuracy is horrible. Uh, I upgrade this accuracy. How good is this? 2%? Might be worth upgrading accuracy here. I might just use it as a starter. More bullets is probably good here. Bazooka does 20 more damage. Eh, 
leave that one as is. So with lock on, Wild Bunch might be okay. We'll just burn all of our money on this, because I don't think I have another reason to hold money unless I'm buying dolls. I think there's anything I upgrade with phaser. Oh, I can get another phaser bullet? Actually, that's huge. Oh, I didn't realize I could still upgrade phaser. Oops. Increase that. Yeah, I would have spent a little more on phaser had I realized that. We could do another wild card, potentially. But I think this at 95% is probably fine. So six bullets here for 350 damage. So potentially if I do lock on, this will do more damage than phaser does to a whole group. Wild Bunch is just kind of a backup gun. See how it goes. I don't expect it to be useful at all. Because it, it's just so undergeared at this point. But the bottom weapon will be useful, I think. Just because it had such a high base attack. And it's not even at max. So it could probably go much higher. So being able to AoE for more damage than phaser is nice. And having an extra bullet in phaser helps with boss battles. Then I don't have to equip read store anymore, I don't think. We're gonna oops to probably Ancient Arena. I'm assuming I have enough money to enter the contest. 10,000. I hope that's enough. If not, I wanted to see what would happen if we come back here regardless. So if this doesn't result in any new content, we're just gonna stomp the arena with our god characters. So we're coming back at like hilariously more levels than before. Yeah, like we were like low. 30s the first time we came here. We beat it at low 40s. We're now mid 40s, but with endgame gear. See, Rain of Survival, entry fees 1000. Good, we have enough to enter. So, again, we have an extra level up from the other island. We have new guns. This is my prey. Go home and play with your toys. Okay. So, good, good call. New music. Boomerang Flash. So you've been waiting for me, human warriors. To settle my score with you. I came dancing all the way up from the fires of hell. I've attained new powers. My obsessive desire to fight bonded with the Guardian Desire to create the ultimate power. The Guardian Blade. Devil Blade Lucid. Feel the power of the blade, which has been forgotten to the far quarters of legend. Um... You're also the Grim Reaper Spen Pal, maybe. So we have an extra bullet with phaser, and it's 2% more accurate, which is important. So I would like to not whiff that attack if we can. I could trickster you. Let's get response time down, just in case this enemy does like 5 million damage on hit. Tell him to wait 5 years. Oh, so he's going first by a lot. How much is he doing? What? What is this? That's with the level up he one-shot me? That is absurd. What is this stat check? I didn't stand a chance, even though I'm at the end of the game and I've power leveled. Wow, that's something. No, apparently. I mean, how far away, like, I did like, wow, that did insane. I'm surprised Hunter died. Girl dying is like, I, I ex, you know, I kind of expect that. I guess I could try to level one more time and try this again. I'm not even, I'm, I'm sure we have good enough damage, but apparently endgame armor, not good enough. Wait, where's our... Where's our spaceship? Just, just give me the give me the flying ship. I need it. Fine. I'm gonna go in the I'm gonna go in the court. I'm gonna leave. So I guess I could try leveling one more time. I mean, if the bonus dungeon is like that, I don't know if I'm gonna complete it. Cause it's like I, I've burned up every single secret card that we've had, and leveling takes an eternity at this point without it. So yeah, this is not good enough for bonus dungeon. We're not completing the bonus dungeon. And I'm not going to apologize for that. So we're going to hopefully survive after one more level up. 
It seemed like it was only doing 2,900 to Cowboy. Is it because he had more defense? Okay. So maybe with Hunter, I could change his rune. I don't know I could really do anything for Girl, unless I want her to just wear a tank rune. So we're going to get one level up. I'm going to switch to tank runes for the first time in the entirety of the game. Just to see if we survive. And we're going to use our money to finish upgrading Phaser. So yeah, we'll try finishing the upgrades on Phaser, and then anything after that will go towards our super weapon. Because it's already pretty accurate, but if it just never misses, that'd be great. I don't know if I need more bullet clips on Phaser, but I think I do want accuracy, because I do use that as a normal attack pretty often. So we'll get a tiny bit more XP by killing this enemy. So yeah, at the rate, we need 80,000 experience, we got less than 2,000. So you could keep the ratios in mind to how bad the XP is here, unless we get the other one. You seem to have more luck in the forest finding him. I don't know if it matters what tile we go on. Is it Cosmic Nova? And again, more levels means more base MP for girl. She has her strongest armor in the game, unless I could get like another headband somewhere. Because I think we purchased from the black market, so we're pretty good there. I was not slacking on the equipment there, since we saw that the bonus bosses do a lot of damage. We're using the best sword possible for Hunter. Cowboy probably is a little bit to go. I imagine once we kill the ninja, we'll get an upgrade for Cowboy, and that would make the bonus dungeon maybe a little easier. But I'm not sure how that really factors into his gun damage at all. Another 2,000 in cash. So yeah, maybe we'll increase the damage of the AoE one, because if we do lock on... For example, if, if we're fighting like really tanky enemies in the bonus dungeon, potentially lock on to guarantee the high ATP damage of the final gun could be useful. And again, we increased it from like three bullets up to six. So at least I should be able to get a decent distance into the dungeon in case I find that it's required. So we're, we're going in with extra precautions. But yeah, I think the cards earlier in the game were sadly not worth using based off of uh, how little XP they gave. It seemed like the right idea at the time, but yeah, their XP just ended up not being good. And then they often just didn't give money, sadly. So if my response time doesn't matter, I wonder if I could get away with pure power runes on a couple characters. So if the boss doesn't do magic damage, it would just make sense to wear a tank rune on the girl, since her magic damage is basically zero now, sadly. There we go. Th See, that was like a reasonable amount of time. I think chat would agree, compared to before. It was ridiculous earlier. Alright, so we're gonna... We're going to wide open you, I think. We'll see if we can steal another key, just to say we went for it. But I doubt it'll happen. Didn't work. Why are they only targeting Cowboy with this? This is so frustrating. He's like one of our big DPSs. Having him stunned every turn is insane. Speaking of which... Oh, she actually hit him. You've got to be kidding me. Okay, he condition greened himself at least. I was going to say, this this felt kind of unwinnable. We use Fury Shot plus Arc Smash with the new damage, so that should just do max damage. We're going to cure Girl, so hopefully we give her an ability to do. And again, Hunter's base heal rate is going up, which might also be relevant for boss battles where I have to cure status ailments. It also means Resta is gradually getting better. Although if I get rid of magic heal, I wonder how much this will do. Yeah, they'll do none and none. So without the magic boost, Resta might not be strong enough, might be the downside. But for Hunter, I don't think there is a downside to me making him tank build. 
Uh, I could just risk it. I have a good chance of hitting a character no matter what. 74% chance of just hitting one target is probably fine. And it's stronger than Phaser. Which is what I'm talking about here. Like, this would save us a bunch of time with grinding, with more power. Yeah, that did good damage. I didn't even get the defense down yet either. So we're going to use Hunter to just kind of... Honestly, I might just Arch Smash again. We're going to use him to heal. And then I'm going to have Girl use Lucky Card. Yeah, I want to do that. So good chance of hitting both targets, thanks to small accuracy increase and big damage ups. So missed one, but it still did full damage. So this is now strictly better phaser, with like a little bit of risk. So if at least there's two targets, it's just stronger phaser. Uh, this should just be GG, I think. So we'll do Trickster on you. I guess I could wide open you because you have more defense. So we're at least getting some use out of the new gun. And again, we could buff its attack power more, which I think would be good for us. I think I went Phaser to be at like 97% accuracy. Let's see if this hits both. Ooh, it does. GG. That's so much damage. Okay. So we've now gone up a level. How much do I need to level again? Another 80,000. So it seems pretty consistent. If I had had like four more cards from earlier, I could have gone up four more levels. So with this extra level up, is this good enough to not get one shot? <laughs> Question mark. We now have a super weapon versus bosses. So I could hold on to the other thing for AoE or just normal encounters. Kind of my decision. <laughs> the table got me. So yeah, I want to phase our accuracy slightly more if we can. Yeah, it's a 97% accuracy. Can it go higher? It can, but I don't think that's worth it. Uh, How much is for arch smash damage? Another 50 attack power? That's a pretty big bump. It costs 65,000 to get it again. 1,500 for another bullet. Can't do that. 5% for more accuracy. Max attack. So I don't think I could get any other meaningful upgrades. I could lock on with Wild Bunch, technically. Could be useful if I'm really desperate, but I have enough bullet clips that it shouldn't really be relevant, sadly. So we got to see how much Wild Bunch does damage-wise when we upgrade the damage, and it doesn't seem that impressive, sadly. So I think that's probably the most useless gun that we've had, just because I can't even figure out like a niche for it. Like, the Prism Gun that we fully upgraded, we, we're still going to use, potentially. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're going to equip you with... Is there... 254 to 94? So, Summit Rune gives me some power and then also damage. Oh, Courage Rune actually gives... Vitality, too, so it's not even that low. Hmm. Maybe Love Rune? Or I could go slower and just get the same amount of damage. Maybe Life Rune is best here. Maybe that's good enough. Let's go sleep here. Okay, so I'm hoping that change. We, we become much slower, so it's not great for uh, potentially some boss fights. And definitely not good for random encounters. But I think for this boss, I might gear towards it specifically. So I'm going to hope one level plus defense equals I don't die. Because everybody's roughly the same defense, and if it was magic defense, she would be taking way less. So I'm hoping that this adjustment will be good enough. Don't know if girl will survive. I could switch her from Necronomicon to Orb of Power, technically. To see if she can live. The problem is I'm not sure how much weaker that's gonna make her healing. So we could go for this. 
So hopefully his defense up plus her extra HP means I could just rest it every turn. But it means she's going to be doing literally zero damage. So she's just going to be full on heal bot, unfortunately. I would have liked to play her Black Mage, but I don't think the game will let me at this point. I'm going to save again while we're in the arena. I got all my ammo restored. Let's take a look at her gun. It's now at 400 attack power from 350. So it's clearly stronger than Phaser, but a little risky. Phaser is pretty much guaranteed at this point. And if I want to, I can upgrade it so that it uh, pretty much always hits, like handgun. So that should be good enough for us. All right, so let's try this again. So let's see with the adjustment if we're able to beat the boss as is. So he's got slightly more HP, she's got way higher HP. Hoping the combination of the two keep me out of kill range. But I think I have to land response time down or I just kind of die. I don't think there's really an in-between here. We'll start off with Phaser. We're gonna use Meteor Dive. I guess in theory I could just use Rest every turn instead of response downing. Oh, you have single- you have single target attacks? Oh. That's unfortunate. I wish I knew that. I mean, I guess if I rest to every turn, I don't really care about response down. Just gonna take a little longer. Could go- well, see if I go for it and she whiffs, I don't win. You know what? I'm just gonna rest to every turn. I don't care how long this takes. Zero count execution. Yeah, this should be fun. We'll just go for the steady win here. I don't think I'm gonna go for anything crazy. I don't feel like going for 50-50 fail spells, honestly. We're just gonna blast him down with our current abilities. I think chat can agree this is going much easier just because of how random boss RNG is. Kind of unfortunate. Um, just keep using rest every turn. Poor cowboy. How much is that gonna do? Eh, okay amount. Oh, yeah, see, he's only healing a thousand now. Okay, so there is a downside to that method. Yeah, she's not healing enough now. Hmm. So let me do Arch Smash. We're gonna use Accelerated Healing. All right, so I did get punished for the other strategy. So now I, now I think I have to go for a speed down. Just saw that earlier. I guess I could go for full heal, but I think that's a little risky in case he does AOE. Let's do this to keep him out of kill range. Shadow Boomerang Maximum. Here it comes, I think. That still killed Cowboy. That's actually insane. Okay. I guess I could try to go for a revive here with Accelerator. I just don't think this will matter. So I think I actually have to play with her with full magic. I didn't realize how much it mattered. Kind of sucks, actually. So if he AoEs here, we just lose. Otherwise, we will be fine. So we can survive all of them single hits. Nope, AoE. Okay, so unless she's at full magic, does 3,183. Oh, that's a problem. I don't think she has enough health to do this battle. So I need her magic because otherwise I can't heal fast enough. So unless I'm willing to burn like four Ambrosias, I don't see how this would be doable without the escape dolls. She, she has less than that, right? I swap this out. So she had the Chrono Rune before. I think she needs the tankiness. So like I well, actually maybe love maybe lover will work for her. Maybe. 
Maybe this will do. If I do this instead... Maybe this will be enough tankiness to survive? Is Castle Rune good enough? Uh, sadly no drops from Ethian. I'm gonna see if we can beat it with our current level, but yeah, this is clearly a battle that is much harder than the others. So I kept double my healing. Is this strong enough to beat the boss is the question I'm asking myself. So I'm hoping the defense increase means that 1390 will not kill me. And if I feel like I'm over it by just a little bit, we'll try again with like one adjustment. But yeah, this is kind of crazy. Like think about how much power leveling I did with the secret signs. And I'm in the final dungeon of the game and the boss is still like straight up one-shotting us. It's actually kind of maddening. Fortunately, we have to sit through this dialogue every time. Hopefully you're doing well for me, the end. So yeah, this boss feels kind of overtuned. Like, it, is this supposed to be harder than the bonus dungeon? Because this is kind of crazy. Anyway, phaser into meteor dive into hopefully five years. Alright, so he's using his best attack immediately. That's not good. Will I survive? No. It just randomly did 3,400. Why did it do more? Oh, that's not fair. Chat, that is actually not fair. I, I increased her defense by like 50 points. How did it do more damage to me? Well, GG, I guess. Well, this seems like a really unfun bonus boss. I don't know why the damage range is so wild. So, I mean, if I need 3,400 to live, I don't think this boss battle is doable then without abusing uh, revives. No, it's not an insta-kill. It That's more health than I have by a lot. So I would need almost four levels to survive this? That's insane. So if she doesn't survive with Castle Rune, which again gives the most defense possible while still giving her sorcery points. I don't think this is doable. I could switch her to... What was I using earlier? It's time 137. Flash room might not be bad. I think I want her response time up. Or you know what? Courage room's probably better. Let's keep her own courage, actually. <laughs> 162 response time is kind of funny. Does that put her above the other characters? It does. But do actually, I don't think I I don't think I want that actually. It's funny as that is. Keep her with. Maybe Triton Rune. Switch him off of this one to whatever gives damage. The Star Rune is okay. The 143 still puts him in the lead. I just want to make sure she doesn't go. I want her to go before Cowboy. It's 136. I need to give her a small speed boost. 37 could work. The Courage Rune does everything I needed to, but it, it actually makes her too fast. Hmm. Can he take advantage of the Courage Rune? It makes him do less damage, but it makes his response time insane. Maybe that's okay. So Ice Rune is just an improvement over that, if I want it. Star Rune, maybe? Uh, I think it's important she goes first. Like, the other one is clearly a little stronger, like if I just wanted some generic stats, but... I think she needs to go before Cowboy, always. Because we see the enemies outspeed. So anyway, that was ridiculous. Um... I don't know if I'm going to bother doing that boss battle before the end of the game, given that we don't have any other easy way to level anymore. If I had more of the 
instant level ups, I would have maybe done two more level ups to just try to survive that. But given that I'm wearing the best armor in the game, and a pretty solid headpiece, and an optional endgame accessory, and it killed me through the rune, I don't think there's anything else I can really do and still also be able to full heal the team. So unless I'm willing to burn <coughs> all three of my Ambrosias for this, or buy a lot of Scape Dolls, doesn't seem like I have a lot of really solid options that don't involve burning a lot of money or limited resources. So I think we'll just move on. Let's go to... I forget what the other place is called. Not... Is it Baskar Village? I think this works. No, that's not the one I was thinking of. Oh, maybe this will work. Game, please. So we'll try the bonus dungeon. Maybe there's something we can get in there that will prevent us from dying instantly. Maybe there's a stronger health up item in there. As otherwise, like, we're literally in the final dungeon of the game. There's really not much else I can do. Okay, RNG dungeon time. Will the game let me enter the dungeon chat? Curiosity. What is our luck, according to the game? Bad, best... If it's luck based, let's tank our luck. So we're witnessing how to enter the bonus dungeon. There we go. Holy, remember when I did that like 15 times in a row? Okay, I think maybe you have to equip that sword to get it to work. It's so obnoxious. Is that a monolith? There we go. I guess I should read the pedestal thing. The abyss is a prison. This is where the darkest evil dwells. The vortex of this dark prison will engulf anyone who goes near it. Oh. What is this? Okay. Very limited visibility. I light a torch at some point. Sword of light will slay the darkness. The jewel of the future will lead us to the absolute truth. There's a lever. Do I want to use it? Oh, no. What is this? <laughs> Not more lever puzzles. <laughs> oh. <sighs> Preemptive strike versus a runge or whatever it's called. I guess we'll just shoot it with the uh, phaser for now. A meteor dive. I try Kirk plus plus to see if it has any elemental resistances. Does not. It survived that? Okay, so these enemies are definitely a lot tougher than some of the other stuff we fought. I guess we could try to dango them? Okay. Let's see how much XP this gives. 7,000. More importantly, 13,000. And an Ambrosia? Actually, that's huge. I guess if we stockpile enough Ambrosias, I could do the other battle. So, left. Do you just need me to hit all the levers? What's the point of this? 
Chat, just... Why? I don't even have a vague idea of what you want me to do with this. Hmm. Is it just random which ones we flip? It, it, was there a was there a riddle I was supposed to solve for this? Well, Chad, it's I guess it's brute force time because I don't know what the hint was if there was something to do here. We just have to kind of check it arbitrarily. What a weird decision. No, beating the ninja will not give the code wrong. They're not related. I mean, I could probably get a legitimate level up fighting enough of these. 7,000 XP is decent. This is so stupid. Hold on, is there really no hint for this? Do I just have to brute force it? Like, is this the hint? Like, what do the levers represent? Oh, I did not- I did not want to- Oh, I hit the thing. Oh, that's so annoying. I got punished hard. Gotta go back in. So annoying. Just wanted to go to the other place. Well, back into the bonus dungeon we go. So, I don't think I received a hint for this. Oh, I gotta put on the Dewbringer. We should be fine. But the question is... I didn't see anything else to interact with, though, between us and the other thing. Like, we read the other stone. It just said it's a prison, but that wasn't like a puzzle hint. I'm kind of contemplating just looking it up at this point, because I just feel like the game is now actively wasting our time. Like, if it's just going to give me five switches and I have to keep checking in the dark over and over and over again, that to me is not really a fun challenge. Like, we have better use of our time, to be honest. So annoying. It's one thing if I'm, like, solving, like, an order of things, or if I hit a lever and then it flips the other levers, like, those are fine. That one's just kind of, like, here's five switches. You can't see what you're doing if it does anything. We're not going to give you a riddle. The levers don't seem to represent anything. Just, just look it up, I guess. GG. Yeah, needless to say, I feel like my opinion of the game has sunk incredibly from the first 10 hours of the game. I feel like the first half of the game, before we did anything with dealing with the Quarter Knights, was really good. And now we're just kind of doing this. Like, this is a decision that they've made, for some reason, to put into the game. So we're at the mercy of RNG whether I go to this dungeon. Punch the stupid teleporter. And there's like no way to speed this up to. It's so much time lost from accidentally stepping on it. Oh, I hate this so much. This is like the epitome of what I don't like to do in RPGs, summarized. Like I'm literally just flipping back and forth between the screens. I can't make this entertaining. It's boring. I don't know why they put this in here. Like, there's nothing to talk about. It's just, it's like a bad dungeon design with a bad, bad gimmick to get into it. It's like, oh my gosh, why? Yeah, there's no hint here, right? Yeah, there's no hint. All right, chat, I'm at the screw this, I'm looking it up phase. <laughs> I don't feel like messing around with the lever puzzle if they don't give hints. 
don't find that very fun as a puzzle design. Do I need to switch anything before I go further in this dungeon? I think I could switch this back to Juggernaut. Yeah, there's nothing for me to interact with. I can't light up anything for puzzle hints. There's presumably nothing here. I didn't see a single thing I could talk to. Aside from this. And if this is somehow a clue... With levers with no icons above them or anything like that... It's ridiculous. So I'm gonna look once above the levers to see if anything is there. Which again, like... If you want me to look at something above the levers, probably don't make it in a dark room. I'm just saying, like... Like, it's one of those things you can't believe you have to say about game design. Like, maybe maybe don't put a dark room puzzle. If there's something visually I have to see to understand the puzzle. Deal with you. Alright, so they give carrots, the other gives ambrosia. They want to make sure you have a lot of resources. Yeah, there's no icons above this. Hi, right, chat. I'm looking it up. I don't feel like flipping switches and checking that like five million times. Uh, da -da 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 -da, wild arms. Google. I think this place is called the Abyss. Okay, here we go. Head inside. Five levers. First, second, and fourth. Okay. Yeah, that was stupid. So anyway, we're gonna move on. <laughs> Check what's over here. Nothing. I'm just gonna shrug on that one. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not slowly checking each lever one by one. I'm not interested in that. Bonus dungeon has tested my patience with puzzles. It has far exceeded that for sure. We'll do some meteor dives. Let's get a rest in here. I mean, I would love to have seen what the hint was for that order other than just pick a switch. Because I don't even feel like when we hit the right one, it made like a different sound. And then like if we guess the right, if we guess the wrong one, it like reset them. Like that's also like a semi-valid puzzle. I also don't like that as a puzzle design. But like that would have been something. As opposed to just whatever that was. Okay, the, the chariots are not worth fighting. Are we ever going to get out of the dark phase or? Oh, there's more statues. Can I move any of these? Okay. Do these. I don't know what it wanted. I don't think I care anymore. If it wanted me to check some like arbitrary object in the room far away, that would just also a complete waste of time. Because I can't even see the statues when I flip them too, which makes it so much worse. Alright, so sadly, I think we're not going to kill the enemy here instantly. We could use Hunter to kill this. Maybe Melee will do this. So it seems to give automatic magic carrots, which is not bad. So at least the enemy fights even if they don't give a lot of XP. Give me what I need potentially to clear the dungeon. We're going to magic carrot this got extras. Oh, I got confused. I was wondering why I was walking randomly. Oh, and then it wore off. Thanks, game. Alright, so there's path here. Okay. The darkest path is the one that leads to the depths. The path of the unseen is the path of darkness. Is that a hint that there's a hidden wall somewhere? I've been ambushed, apparently. Give me one second. Move chat in a way that I can read chat easier. There we go. Now I can see chat a little easier. 
Uh, I mean, I guess I just conserve resources for now. Rip these enemies. This should be fine. Right, so I see some stairs. Okay, so if I don't have a duplicator, I can't proceed. I have three. I tried getting more at the other place. I hope three is enough to clear the dungeon. We'll find out though. Okay. here maybe meteor dive problem uh we'll just do some normal attacks here this should be fun Anything in my notes. Okay, I was just making sure I didn't miss anything that I had last time. More XP. Uh, we'll go through here. Dead Heat acquired. Texas number acquired. Oh, right, so everybody's ultimate helmet is here. That's good. I don't think that'll help me with the other boss. It's only like eight defense, but it helps with more normalized encounters. Okay, let's go this way. You're on a May. Congratulations, Toriel. Glad PSO is treating you well. Mm. Do I bother using MP? Uh, maybe. I guess I could Kirk Plus Plus to see what they're weak to. Oh yeah, 80, 80 is very rough for new players, even on Forest. It's a pretty big difficulty jump. Some people level to like almost 90 for like fresh files before they go in, just because they don't have enough for all ATP to do anything. Well, that did like no damage. It's melee to death. Not a lot of XP from that. Alright, so it told me basically not to light any lamps. Darkest festival on the least into this, but path the end is darkness. So I guess what I can do here is go invisible. Then we'll maybe skate back up the stairs. So these. So I could fall down here if I want to. Oh no, I can't fall down there. Is there anything else to do here? Hmm. Hmm.
Is there another door here? Or is there really nothing else I could do? I thought I could jump down there, but maybe not. What to do here? I'm gonna go invisible for a little bit. What else could I do? Is there another door here somewhere? I feel like I could go down there, maybe? Oh, there is. Okay. This is like... I have to say, really not liking the gimmicks of this area so far. It's like, do you like not seeing where you're going? Here you go, have an entire dark dungeon. And presumably if I light a torch at any point, it's going to tell it's either gonna teleport me out of the dungeon or it's gonna force me to restart. Does it feel like it's just that kind of game, quote unquote? What does Amulet do? Increase luck two levels, eh. Hmm. So I don't want to light that, or I feel like it's going to lock me in the room. That was the hint that it told me earlier. Uh, We'll go through here. So I feel like it's the game actively taunting me. It's like you could have something nice, or... The other thing, too, is I'm worried we're going to get to... We're gonna get to the point where if I die, I would potentially lose all this progress. I really hope there's a save point before we get to like the boss. Or else I have to do the whole dungeon over. If that happens, chat, I am absolutely rage quitting. <laughs> I'm turning off the stream. If I accidentally get a boss battle without a save point and it one-shots me, the stream is over. I'm just announcing it preemptively. Because I feel like this dungeon has been nothing but horribleness so far. And nothing to do over here. Okay. The power of this beast has no match in this world. The Beast King Rago Ragla comes from the Sea of Stars. Dripping with might, this white beast towers over you like a tornado. Um... Hmm... I mean, I guess I imagine I go left first. So up is just lore. Left and right seem like they could wrap around. And we always said when in doubt we go left, so we might as well just continue to follow that advice. Fortunately, that did very little damage. I we're getting Icicle Disastered. So we've seen these enemies before. They're not even unique to this dungeon, sadly. We've definitely been Icicle Disastered multiple times. Ideally, most of the damage will go on the one on the left. Oh, it looks like it did. That's actually good news for us. That was a perfect spread of damage. Thank you, Kirk Plus Plus. 17,000 money might be good, because if we want to upgrade the arms, we will need the money. So I think we got to do, like... There we go. Oh. Can, wait, can you not grappling hook to a treasure chest? Oh, right, that's fine. I mean, I guess I could take it with Han Pan or whatever. Orb of life acquired. Oh, is this actually a health increaser? That would be really good for us to redo that other battle. Orb of power is 25%. Yeah, okay. Now it makes sense how you're supposed to fight the other boss. Okay. 50% is a pretty big health increase. Oops. Do this. We'll go to the right side to see if there's any chests. Him, please. Unpun is here. Mystic Slate. I don't think we've ever had a purpose for that, to be honest with you. Things that don't increase our stats are not usually worth it. Yeah, sadly, I think the 50% health increase is only going to be useful versus the bonus bosses. Like, literally, the two that are left. I don't think I'll need that for regular gameplay at all, and I don't want to do it. 
if you had the ability to choose between like stat ups and something else i would do it the problem is like i don't really want that over full status immunity and i don't want that over literally doubling my magic healing power and then cowboy technically i could get rid of this but this would be a big dps decrease on bosses so like it would help me in casual encounters technically but I think the fact that they don't have like a d what the heck is this? Largon's very goofy looking. Well, anyway, time to shoot Largon in the face. So the problem with this, like, I wish I had an accessory slot dedicated towards utility versus damage. But the problem is like our other accessories are so strong, I will pretty much never use the 50% HP. If I came here before completing the arena, it would have helped. Goodbye, Largon. Oh, you still survived. Largon not going down without a fight, apparently. Guess I'll try to rest, though. Yeah, and I think that's kind of the problem. Like, you could choose defense or health, or you could choose massive damage increases or MP. It's like, uh, Oxygen Destroyer? You know what, let's use Fury Shot and just use Hand Cannon or something for more damage. So sh should hopefully kill. Okay, that's good enough. How much XP is Largon worth? 12,000 is actually pretty good. Okay, it's not quite 80,000, but we'll take that. I have a good chance of leveling up at this point. That looks like progress. Let's... Go this way. Was there anything on this side of the room? It's so finicky. It's very easy to get bumped and then reorient to the other side. Let me go under it instead of above it. I would just like to state I don't appreciate any puzzles so far we've done in this entire dungeon. I hate this dungeon. There we go. See, when you turn, you take a step forward, and that's enough to fall off. So I gotta, like, move back to the post. Oh, is there literally nothing here? That sucks. This is the only annoying room in the dungeon. Rob, have you seen me navigating the blind rooms? I hate those. I haven't liked a single room in this dungeon. <laughs> we have Giga Frost and Giga Flame. Hopefully they'll be Giga dead after I shoot them in the face. I'm tired of them. Do some rest though. Just glad there were no rooms on the bottom of this place. I'm not gonna lie, Count Vision. My opinion of Wild Arms has tanked in two sessions. I have not been enjoying the level design or the enemies since basically the quarter knights have died. And even then, it was a little questionable with some of the navigation. Okay, fortunately they targeted the character that's immune to things. I guess I could arc smash again. I got a lot of spare bullets. So yeah, I'm hoping there's a save before we end up at the boss. If there's not, I'm just going to leave, honestly. So I'd rather keep our items. Like a very acquired. Extra stuff for more trouble than they're worth. Last few dungeons. Yeah, like we got items here, but like I, I, I'm not excited to use any of them. I don't have enough slots to make it interesting. I think they should have had one that was like a... One that is kind of like utility and one that's purely for stats. So that way you can fine tune it. And the runes are kind of like that. I've honestly never bothered summoning the Guardians, because most of the time I don't build enough force for that to matter. Power boost acquired. Like, does that actually add damage to us? Or is it just another terrible shield? Double attack 75% of the time. Is that just, like, regular attack, or does it mean, like, specials? If it means specials, that's good. But if it's just regular attack, like, why would I regular attack in this game? Especially with this character. 
So I did all this to get this. Okay. Oh, there's an area over here. I was like, I wasn't sure where to go. Well, fortunately, I still have another duplicator. So hopefully I don't need any more. This is the central core. This is where Raga Raga sleeps under its spell. Once awakened by the song of the Maya, the world will burn to cinders. Is there a save point? Is there seriously not a save point? There better be one in this room, chat. <laughs> I am not... I am not playing around. I will exit this dungeon before I do this boss. I am not redoing this entire dungeon for those items. I want the XP. There better be, chat. That's all I'm saying. There 100% better be a save in this dungeon. I better not enter that room and then see, like, just immediately the summoning altar. Killed you. So we have enough money to upgrade Arc Smash a little more, which at this point only really helps us against super bosses. But I guess it's fair. If you get the money, might as well use it. How much money are we back up to? 95,000? That's pretty good. I... I... I refuse. I refuse to do this boss without a save. I refuse. Objection! <laughs> why did- you were- why did you finally make a dungeon without a save and you put it as the bonus boss? Okay, we're fighting until we level. I'm leaving. Sorry, Dargon. I'm taking out my rage on you. Stupid. I hate this level. What a- what a bad dungeon. <laughs> I have to get through this whole dungeon without using the light tool. I have to do all the stupid little puzzles. You don't even give me the courtesy of a save before presumably a boss that will one-shot me. So annoying. The game is not respecting our time chat. I would just like to state. I feel disrespected by this game. I'm very close to leveling, so possibly with a level up and bonus HP, I might have enough to deal with the other ninja, maybe, with the new accessories. Maybe. Unlikely. I'll survive the single target attacks. Got a little bit of extra money. So this area is pretty good for leveling at least. So Cowboy has more than enough HP, I'm not worried about him. Almost wish he could protect other characters. Hunter's HP I think is fine. So the problem is girl can't survive. And if the boss just decides to do 3400, there's nothing I could do. The boss is 2800 I live. The boss is 3000 I live. The boss is 3200 I live. The boss is 3300 I die. So unfortunately due to RNG range of the boss, maybe I do have to just beat it with escape dolls. Because otherwise it requires grinding out like three more levels, I think so she doesn't get one shot and die. Is not really what I consider a good boss design. Given that we're at the end of the game and I've already power leveled with the secret signs. Like, that to me is crazy. Yeah, it's like, whenever your strategy is, hope the boss never uses its super attack, that's not a good sign. Okay. Hopefully this will level everybody else. Hunter and girl have leveled. So again, Hunter, I think, is out of the insta-kill range, which is good. So he could continue to do this. Welcome, Kirk. You missed the exploration of one of my least favorite dungeons so far in the game. It's so bad, I'm not even going to bother attempting the bonus boss. Oh, that's how not happy I am with the game right now. We're leaving. Just... Just bye. Just bye, Chad. I'm not... I'm not doing this. Stupid. I'm going to go save the game. Go to Saint Centaur or whatever. 
Actually, I should go to Aldehyde because I need bullets. Let's go to Aldehyde, actually. Wow. You make me go through all those puzzles and you're like, you know what? You could definitely one try our boss that definitely won't do like 4,000 damage and kill you. Clearly. Clearly we respect the player would definitely not allow the boss to do like 4,000 damage for no reason. Anyway, let's upgrade Arc Smash again. So I got another 70 attack power. Can I get another bullet with it? How much? Oh, I can't upgrade it any further. Uh, maybe I just upgrade Phaser's accuracy to max. Yeah, let's just never miss with Phaser. Okay, right, so we now have a boss kill weapon. We have a backup boss kill weapon. We have a backup backup boss kill weapon. Most of these other items don't really interest me. I guess if I level Bazooka enough, it could be good, but no thanks. We have all we need now. So we could get through the boss's ridiculous, ridiculous stats, I think. Get these. Save the game. <laughs> Things you think you would be able to do in a dungeon. So yeah, I, I don't know what they were thinking with these last dungeons. Uh, we're just gonna... Oh, I can't do it from here. We're gonna... Oops. I have 1290 HP. Is that good enough? Do I need to farm Ambrosias from that dungeon in order to beat it with the other strat? I mean, in theory, I could. I could go for one more level. Th I have 3290. So if it if it mid-rolls its attack, I don't die. If it high-rolls, I die. Maybe there was no thought. It feels like it. I feel like the last dungeon in particular felt very hateful to the player. I think between making the player navigate in a pure darkness maze and then telling the player, if you ever light up the dungeon, we're just going to lock you in or presumably boot you back to the start for, for daring to want to see the screen. Just like absolute insanity. Oh, 3230, not 3290. Well, does status immunity matter here? It might not. Uh... You get the Triton Room for more defense and magic. I think I just go for then. Anything that just even slightly increases our odds of survival, I'll try it. Oh, 292 with Love Rune. Maybe this will work. So we're tankier. We heal for more. Maybe that'll work. Then for you, we're going to do... I don't think your speed matters at all. I'm just going to go pure attack power here. Or I feel like we're not going to do any damage. Then for you... Do we have anything that makes you faster? Oh, I could just use the Courage Rune, maybe. Sure? I feel like his damage was fine. We'll try this setup. So technically, Cowboy did get improved. I don't know what damage Arm is based off of, if it's physical or response time, but at least either way, all of it has been improved, so it doesn't matter. All right, so everybody has been upgraded to be tankier. We got one extra level. Can we survive this attack, or are we still going to get one shot? So you've been waiting for me, human warriors, to settle my score with you, blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, let's see if we can beat this boss. Without relying on RNG. We'll go for Phaser. Go for Meteor Dive. Let's go for five years. Immediately does his best attack. Will I survive? Why did it one-shot Hunter? <laughs> what? No, that's not... That's not fair. Oh, this boss sucks, chat. I hate this. I hate these bosses so much. That's so much damage he just took. Like, not even, like, remotely low in the damage range. Why? 
I'm gonna try to rest uh <laughs> I'm gonna tell the boy to revive, I guess. I'm gonna use rest again. Because with that, I was remembering he was outspeeding her, so I could take advantage of the fact that he's now faster than her. So hopefully the characters will survive the one-shot. Okay, so he's not doing it. I can use lifeguard now to maybe live or insta-death. Okay. Cool. Definitely not really annoying as a mechanic. Definitely love to see that in the game. Let's full revive. <laughs> what a boss. Yeah, at least we do max damage with our gun. This enemy is so absurd, honestly. Alright, will we survive this? Hunter will probably die. Or everybody lives. Uh, Chad, his dam his damage rain makes no sense. <laughs> he could do 2,800 to 39,000. Or, or 3,900, I mean. That's just... Well, I'm gonna Ambrosia. Let's try to lifeguard ourselves so we have somebody that survives this BS. I think this is one of those times it just makes sense to Ambrosia. Okay, so she can no longer be insta-killed. That's fine. We're gonna do a phaser shot on him. We're gonna use, I think, heal blade on him to heal him. And then I'm going to Baywatch Cowboy, because he's our damage dealer. So I think we got through the bad RNG, but if it does it twice in a row, I think we just die again. So we have one immunity. She didn't die instantly, so that's good. We have another safety, because the damage range in this game makes no sense. I'm gonna use another phaser shot here. I'm gonna heal Blade. Actually, I'm just gonna use Nectar, I think, on her. And then I guess I go for Wide Open to try to kill this enemy before it does any more nonsense. Like, we're doing decent damage a turn. I have two immunities. I can Lifeguard Hunter next turn. And then this should lead to big damage, I think, versus this enemy. Okay. Okay, so he survived. So we're gonna do Fury Shot into... Probably Arch Smash. I just wanna make sure we do max damage here. We're gonna use Nectar on himself. Then I'm gonna use Lifeguard. Slash Baywatch on Hunter. Okay, I feel like we have a chance to win because he's not using his AoE repeatedly back to back. So I'm going to hope with the wide open and everything else, we just nuke this boss from existence. So I imagine two more powered up shots and he'll die. We just have to last that long. Okay. Didn't kill me instantly. We're an arc smash. We're going to probably just use Sonic Vision here. And then we're going to use, we're going to use, where is it? Where's our full heal? I just, I don't feel like messing around. Where is it? We're gonna use milk on ourselves. Okay, did 5,000, that's nice. <laughs> of course it misses, unfortunate. A little greedy. It was like a 74% chance or whatever. It wasn't the worst odds. We're, okay, so we're gonna preserve that then. We'll use phaser. We're going to use Meteor Dive. I'm going to use... Probably just Fringing. I don't think I need a full heal for this. Just need to be doing steady damage to this boss, and hopefully he'll die in a turn or two from here. So we can't get one shot now. Even if he does it, it doesn't matter. I revive. So I think we're in a place I can't lose. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna lock on... Actually, no, no, no. We're gonna phase her and then we'll burst him next turn. So I can multicast. So I'm gonna dual cast. 
Actually, I'm not even gonna do that. I'm gonna just use Fringing. I'm gonna dual cast if he ever pops our life bar. But I think this is over. I think with our high accuracy phaser, triple shot should kill him next turn. So we've been outputting about 5,000 a turn. And we're now having him add damage. And so he's only doing single target attacks, which is fine. We could beat those. So let's just do max damage here. We'll do another meteor dive. We'll do... I, mean, I could just keep healing her. This is fine. So hopefully he'll go down once Hunter attacks, but we'll see. So we've now done at least two of the 999 attacks. Dead. Okay, there we go. Miracles. The human's belief system that make the impossible possible. The power that protects Vilgaia. Looks like this is the end. Did I lose? No, I did not. I lived the life of a demon warrior. I fought and lost my life. I was not defeated. I lived a life of my own dreams. I have lived. I have no regrets. I am a winner. My death is glorious. How much XP? 20,000? Divine Blade acquired. Right, so I'm still not really close to leveling up again. I like how they just kind of happen. They're like, yeah, by the way. So I got a little more damage. Uh, How much do I need to level? Oh, I'm like not even close at all. Very defeated, now die, loser. Tango says got him. Yeah, it's almost like if the boss doesn't RNG the AoE attack, it's possible. It's almost like if the boss decides to just not do 3900 I win <laughs> right chat like that that was completely fair damage right like he is tanky as all get out he still got one shot it's just mind-boggling like I would have to be level 50 to not die to that that's actual insanity I'm not grinding that much so anyway we're gonna leave our strength up so we could do damage maybe to the bonus boss I think force unit was a really good call here because uh, getting the Fury shot faster, I think, is crucial. Girl, I think, was okay. So we're going to oops back to Aldehyde. I guess we'll try to do the bonus dungeon boss, maybe? Sadly, beating him did not award us any money. So yeah, we're about as geared as I think it's possible to be for this bonus boss. So what do you think, Chad? Do you think I'm just going to take like 4,000 and die instantly? If that happens, I'm just I'm not I'm not going to rage quit at that point because I fully expect the nonsense now. But I will stop playing if it happens. I just feel like we, we will stop and we'll talk about the session. What a ridiculous battle. So yeah, we're like mid 40s. Let's go to. I don't think it really matters. Is it Malama that has the closer one? I thought there was one where the the El Temple was like right next to it. Maybe not. And how many moons this guy he had to. He'll do 11th moon, just because. I was hoping that would give us a little closer. Oh, there's a bottle there. Oh, well. <laughs> right, chat? Oh, well, I'm not going back for it. Screw that. So let's see. Don't need to go there. Let's land over here. Why? Why can I not land? There we go. Innumerable moons. He'll just do like, <laughs> behold, galaxy infinite and just kills you instantly. So we finally saw instant death attacks land for the first time in the game. We'll put on Doombringer because that did seem to make a difference in getting in the bonus dungeon. But a little less atrocious.
So what do you think, Chad? I think I'm gonna get one shot. Oh, you know what? Actually, before we do that, if we ever get back in this dungeon any reasonable time, I should probably check to see if any of the enemies finally have something worth stealing. We went through the whole game. There was one enemy worth stealing from. I guess there's a slim possibility, chat. Somewhere. Maybe. Maybe one of these enemies will drop something that is relevant. Because it has been bad the whole game. I, I kind of am curious about that before attempting the final boss. So we'll try to steal from each enemy once. I'll punch the ground out of frustration though. Yeah, I don't know if there's any other accessories, if there's, like, other items, like, a, like an elixir equivalency. We have, like, full heal items. And even just getting more ambrosia, for example, is fine. But then if we do that, I'm going to save because I don't feel like losing all of our items due to RNG. Speaking of RNG, chat, welcome to Wild Arms' uh, decision to do this. Just like to point this out, that this is what they decided. There we go. Got a fish for the oops. Yeah, pretty much. So we'll do a couple things there. See what happens, I guess. Fortunately, the puzzle is solved. So I guess the question is, how badly do I want to steal from these enemies? I'll see if they have anything interesting. Although I have a feeling we're going to see the words couldn't steal. Also, I forgot to unequip the sword, so his odds of stealing are probably atrocious. Oh, has nothing? Oh, that that is a classic. All right, chat, that is an absolute classic. So nothing worth stealing. Like, you can't make this up. Steel is so bad in this game. There is, like, no good targets. It's useful in one one area. It, that That's it. There's, like, no bosses have anything. The bosses that do sometimes have things, it's easier to acquire their items elsewhere. It's so bad. Like, it's just honestly amazing how terrible it is. Uh, can I get rid of silence? Oh, you're confused. That's why I can't do that. Can I unparalyze you? I kind of want a nectar just to save some time, but at the same time, I want to keep those for later. Oh, forgot he self was that. And then forgetfulness? Jeez, she had like every status ailment. Oh, yeah. So, sure. So again, we'll just kind of walk around. Hopefully we get some enemies as I walk around. I'll vaguely make my way towards the other area. Come on. Some random encounters before I go too deep. I don't want to fight this thing. We know it has nothing of interest. Not allowed to run. Cool.
Well, I guess it's time to shoot it in the face. Mm. Use Kirk Plus Plus on it. It actually does surprisingly good damage for the MP it's used. Baser's pretty good. Hopefully this kills. Nice. So we'll make our way through the dungeon again. If I see that it, if some enemy for whatever reason has like something that is very suspicious, I will go ahead and I will go save our progress. Is there anything else I can think of that we didn't do? I guess we never talked to the Elder again after we got the other runes. So it's possible there's something I can get from him. Remember, he mentioned three, and I think I actually only picked up two? Question mark? Maybe? We'll talk to him again. Maybe that's worth doing before the end. Come on, Trickster. I just want to know if he has items. Couldn't steal, so he has something I can steal. Hmm. Also, I think I forgot to swap his equipment again. Can I... I think I could fix this. Interesting equipping doesn't take time. So yeah, I could see myself coming back with goat dolls if I really just wanted to guarantee the win. Since it's pretty much like lifeguard for free. If I really want to beat the bonus boss, I'll do it. But for now, we'll just do some tricksters and block. So we'll acknowledge, if I get enough money here, in theory I could just pay to win. Ambrosia acquired, okay. That's fine. I think getting Ambrosia is actually good. Because that frees up a uh, girl in order to cast Lifeguard. And Hunter can just focus on healing, for example. So that's actually not a bad steal. But not what I would consider like game-changing. We're going to Fury Shot a... Yes, wild bunch, just because. Anyway, if she somehow gets a turn, I'm gonna use Rusta. Thank you, Rob. We have a good afternoon. It's got an okay amount of money in case I want to upgrade the other weapons. So again, I might just choose to go through here and then leave regardless. But it all just depends. It just, it just really sucks that I just have to choose to lose all the progress. Feels pretty bad. So all of our health's above 3,000, so maybe we'll be okay for some things. We could see if uh, this enemy has anything. You trickster here. I got slapped. Couldn't steal. Hmm. Alright, so let's see what this guy gives. We'll block. Trickster, block. Couldn't steal. It's all cure poison. Still couldn't seal. Got like fart horned on. actually gonna have to heal here, which is unfortunate. Come on, Trickster. I just want to see what he gives. Still couldn't seal.
It's so unfair how inconsistent this is. Might actually just die due to counterattacks at this rate, which is kind of sad. So couldn't seal. Come on. You can't make this up, chat. Did I see the boss? No. Why would I fight the boss without a save point? Man, come on. Just let me see what your item is. Game please on this one. Get rid of this. Is he seriously just never going to be able to steal this? This is so annoying, chat. I'm I'm contemplating looking it up at this rate. We're having the same situation we did earlier, where it just will not steal the item no matter what we do. It's so irritating. Like, insane how bad it is. Why, like, why is our steal rate so atrocious? This is like unreal chat how bad this is. Come on. He's gonna die at this rate before we see what it is. Flab flabbergasted at how bad this is. Unreal. Die before we even see it. Well, I guess we'll never know. <laughs> I have an okay amount of cash. I could just come back with dolls, honestly, at this point. There is... There he is, the one known to be most evil, the King of Monsters. If you have faith in your ability, and then go forth and wonder the underworld of true darkness. Okay. Empty. Okay. I don't think I went in that room before. Well, chat, we're going to get another try. What is his luck currently, out of curiosity? Is there a way to check that? It's good luck, allegedly. Trickster, Resta. Yeah, like, this is just insane. Like, I literally am killing the enemies before Steel succeeds, doing a thousand at a time. It's just not acceptable. So I'm gonna go for, like, five attempts here, chat, and I'm giving up on getting his item. I'm just gonna kill him going forward. So what we're gonna do... I'm gonna go until roughly that I level, then we're gonna seriously try to beat the dungeon. But I think what I'm gonna do is I think I'm gonna have a, a serious case of the screw it and I'm just gonna buy escape dolls. I didn't wanna do it, but you know what? I really don't wanna go through this dungeon like a third time just because the boss is like, oh, you didn't have the one thing that'll make you immune to like my 5,000 damage attack or some bullshit. So I'm just gonna buy like 30 million of them. But we're gonna take advantage of the money that we're getting here. All right, so we can't run. So we're still too slow to do that. Maybe this will reset his HP. <laughs> Maybe this will give us more trickster attempts. Oh, we still had our meter, actually. That's kind of funny. But it's like, what is this? Like, 0.1%? Like, what are, what are the drop odds of this? It feels like I'm trying to get a soul in, like, Castlevania Dawn of Sorrow. Or, Aria of Sorrow, I mean. No souls for me, chat. <laughs> Alright, you get one more attempt, and I'm one-shotting you afterwards for wasting our time. 
Oh, of course. Yeah, I just think it's poorly programmed. I think it's just how it is. I just don't think there's anything I could really do about it. So why don't we just shoot Wild Bunch? Because we've got nothing better to do. Circle the Moon card, RNG. That's true. That's more apt. There we go. Wow, that took forever. So what, pray tell, does Fish Badge do? The crit, though. So he should be dead soon, because I've already done, like, several thousand damage to him. Unless his health reset. Yeah, there we go. Jeez, that took forever. Well, we're definitely not fighting the boss after that struggle to get it. I could level again. What does Fish Badge do? Nullify Thunder, Holy, and Evil. Okay. I, I don't even know if that'll be useful to me, to be honest. No, in the game, it'll be like, oh, you should have known he would use wind magic, not evil. I feel like that's what the game would do. Like, as much of a struggle as that was, I feel like the game is like, this not even going to be useful versus the boss. Oh, we're getting Prismatic Blaze. That's not good. Alright, so we're going to do normal attacks. Trickster, Resta. I mean, I still don't see a reason why I would ever equip them still, unless I get one shot. Oh no, not another steal. No. <laughs> not another one where I can't steal the item. Come on. There's so many of them. This is miserable. I mean, I might as well just shoot them every turn, or else we're gonna be here forever. So yeah, I want to go until we level up. Then I'm going to take all of the money we earn, buy dolls. And then hopefully we beat the boss. And if I game over on the boss, I'm done. <laughs> like, I'm done. I'm not doing it again. It's just such an annoying hassle to get here. It does not feel worthwhile to do. Still hasn't died. Two enemies with stealables that he'll never steal. It's just so sad. You know what? I've had enough. We're we're killing them on this. I don't care anymore. I want this fight over. Goodbye. How much money are we at, by the way? Let's like, take a look. 27,000, that's not a lot. Sadly. I mostly just want to see if we could get into combat with some of these enemies. We'll see. I think we stole from Ghost Rider before. Wasn't he like a Nectar or something? I don't think it was anything super important, if I remember correctly. Oh wait, no, no, it's Ghost Rider versus Dolhan. I guess it could be different. I mean, it's the same sprite, to be fair. Ooh, Circlet acquired. Okay, that wasn't too painful to get. Just phaser shot you from existence real quick. So just on principle alone, I'll save the items even if we don't end up using them. So I'm going to hope the extra level up will help us survive a 3,000 attack. Cowboy is 4,000, just in case. What? 
does that do? Sort our inventory a little bit. We have way too many items. Um, did like an accessory for her? Or is it like a, a held item? Oh, nullify. That's all it does? Nullifies paralysis? That's it? Oh, come on. We had that since like the beginning of the game. Game, please. I totally forgot that's what it did. We, we didn't even bother putting it on. Not worth. Oh, new enemy, Crawly. Well, time to shoot Crawly in the face. Um, or we'll face tank. Sorry, Crawly. Just has Ambrosia. Okay, I can go full out on this. To do meteor dive. I think if I can land wide open, this would be good here. The next turn, it'll probably die if wide open lands. Not doing crazy damage to me, at least. We'll do armor lock so I land wild bunch because I have nothing better to do. I can sell my other accessories, maybe for extra dolls. Ooh, that did not kill. Hmm. Bonk. If girl counterattacks and kills, that would be amazing. Oh, not quite. I guess I'm gonna use phaser again. Or I can lock on. We do lock on with... launcher maybe just to guarantee I get the hit please die there we go it's a very tanky enemy how much XP are you worth 14,000 okay decent amount of cash that'll be a few dolls for us at least Yeah, I'm, I'm just feeling it, chat. I'm feeling very miserable playing this RNG Darkness dungeon. I hate it. I hate every everything this dungeon stands for. Loathe it. More of the Giga Frosts. Um, I think I'm just gonna use Phaser and some Steel moves. It seems like there are some accessories that the enemies give. Some are quite terrible. Others seem good. I think I'm just gonna Kirk plus plus to speed it up. So again, I'm hoping the extra level will help us get around some bad RNG so I won't need as many dolls, maybe. Aqua ring acquired, okay. Unfortunately, we know that's kind of terrible. So if the other guy gives fire ring, I don't care. That just makes our element that one. I'm not sure if that works with like the other abilities that do multi elements or not, but I super don't care about it. Be honest with you, I don't think it's worth using. Just gonna Kirk plus plus again. Hopefully we get a kill here. So we have the option to buy those rings for clarity, just so chat is aware. If I really wanted them, I could get them, but I don't want them. Ooh, didn't get a kill there. That's unfortunate. Uh, I'll keep using Trickster to maybe get it. Hopefully Kirk Plus Plus activates. Otherwise, we've been wounding them pretty successfully. Nice, he cured himself with Force Up, which is always good. Nice, that one's outright dead. Doesn't really matter what the enemy does here. I think it's dead this turn. I could even do Fury Shot with... We'll do Twin Orbs, why not? Who cares? We didn't show that one enough love. Let's see how much damage this does.
Good enough. I got a little extra cash. Hunter level. So again, that's just kind of safety HP. Need one more battle, and then we'll go back, I think. How many escaped all equivalencies do I have currently? I don't even know where they are in this menu. Where did it even sort them? I have four. Alright, so that's not a whole lot. I prefer to get a little more money before we do that. But again, hopefully selling those other items will let us go there. We might sell our other weapons, potentially. Hmm. I think we're just going to Arch Smash. We're just gonna go for kills here. So, so far I'm not seeing anything new to you, sadly. Charismatic Blaze has betrayed the party. Another Cosmic Nova, Kirk Plus Plus, this should kill. He split that pretty well. One did die. Hopefully an, an auto attack here kills. We're doing roughly even damage. Leveled. Let's do like one more set of fights. We'll move on. I think that you can move that around. Okay, so let, let's see what happens if I light this. Something to do in here. <laughs> Instantly get attacked. Cool. an enemy I don't really want to fight if we can avoid it. Nope. I want to see what the other enemies are, but if we keep hitting these two, it makes me want to skip stuff. So I guess I'll just go back for now. So sadly we didn't get the other enemy types. We did see that there were more. I don't know if we just have to go deeper in the dungeon or whatever. Oh, he's like, oh, we can use lock on. Good. Hopefully this kills. And again, with force gain up, I think Cowboy being able to spam this is huge. So this saves a lot of time with the dungeons. I'm getting paralyzed here, doesn't matter. He already did his damage. Ooh, that went kind of lopsided. It's a bit unfortunate. Okay, so we're gonna leave. I feel my patience level low again due to this game, unfortunately. So we're gonna leave, I think on this one. Sadly, we didn't see any other enemy types, but we did level across the board. So we have one safety level. We didn't get a lot of money from those fights, sadly, because they're more built for XP. I guess I could try going back to the other village to see if the Elder has anything to say. And then I'll try the bonus boss once we get dolls or whatever. Just because it's like such a pain in, pain in the ass to go like all the way in the dungeon, no saves, no ability to see what the boss does. It's just, it's already put me in a bad mood thinking about it. It's like such bad design. What happened to the beginning part of the game, chat? I have so many questions. So many questions. We're gonna sleep here. I think we have all we need. I'm hoping level 49 is high enough. 
So Cowboy's got over 4,000, Hunter's a little shy of it, Girl's got 3,300, which might be like a good cutoff. Party was summoned by Zephyr. Step up to the Wind Caller's altar and summon the West Wind. Okay, so the other guy mentioned something about hope when we had the other ones gathered, so presumably we'll get an item here. Reftina and Justine's runes radiate a dazzling light. So maybe this will be like the hope rune. Even our light doesn't reach him. We give up now. We'll have no future. Hellboy! What do you think you're doing? Are you trying to open the path to the future within the light from your heart? You are an artificial being. An artificial heart cannot bring a bright future. You cannot call the future wind. Why do you still seek the future of Filgaia? How can you do that? You're all alone in this world. You're a stranger who does not belong anywhere. How can you try to open the future to this world? Can you believe in dreams? You never gave up. As long as you have that spirit, you'll always be right for this world. It's because of you, cowboy, that we're able to believe in the future. Please don't think that you don't belong in this world. We need you in this world. The light from the artificial heart is reaching from the reaching the future. No way, but wait! This brightness really is the light of hope. Okay, because we never got the hope rune. That's why I was curious. So th was this completely optional? It seems weird that I could go to the final dungeon without doing this. Dragon Idol shatters into pieces. I am the guardian of hope, Zephyr. The light from the heart that people have lost. Cowboy, your heart is not of nature, yet its light woke me. You believe in the future, and use my powers to fight in the name of hope. Okay. So now I officially don't have anything that I can think of. Because I thought it was weird we only got two dragon idols. See, the hope one gives defense. Seems kind of bad? Seems kind of bad. So I could lose attack power to make his other stats better, I guess. Not really worth it. I don't think I'm going to equip it. Erect fool. How much money do we have? 40,000? Uh, was it 4,000 per doll? I don't recall. So we'll oops back to Aldehyde where the market is. If it's 3,000, we might be fine. If it's 4,000, I don't think we could do it. Let's sell some items first, though, because we have way too many items. You can't buy the runes. That's unfortunate. Um, Sell the energy saber. That's fine. I think I have a reason to go back to these. I'll leave in Doombringer for now, but I don't think I need any of these other items. I definitely don't want to sell Doombringer. It's going to be, like, impossible to get the other area. Boom Gitter is such a weird item. Uh, Get rid of these. Buy Elder Scroll. Okay, I mean, our money total is not bad once I sell some of these. Moonstone? Oh, no, Fice Poison. Get rid of one of these. Don't really need these. Four of those. I could have the pouch for doubling money, technically. I haven't used that in a while. I kind of want to see some of these later. So, okay, now our money's looking kind of decent. Okay. I'll leave their worst items in here, more or less. I'm pretty much never going to go back to the other headgear, so you can just sell these. I need to even conditionally care about these. Alright, so that's a pretty sizable amount of cash. Maybe we could just pay to win? Let's see how much the escape dolls were. Only 1500 Oh, that's not bad. 
Uh, yeah, chat, I'm just gonna go ahead and say we're gonna beat this boss. Just gonna say, like, we're kind of done. <laughs> like, I'm, I think I'm good. I don't think I really want to go through that dungeon a second time. Goodbye, our inventory. You were sacrificed for great cause, which is to not do that boss again. I will not do it on the story final boss. I want to see what that's like. But this bonus boss? No. I don't want to see. Don't want to know. Don't want to see it. So hopefully she can survive. All the other characters I think are okay. Get four skitch for cowboy. Hunter's status immunity. In case the boss has status ailments, I need at least one character to not get absolutely mollywopped, but... We're probably going to equip Scape Doll more often than not. So let's oops back to... Actually, this is fun. Actually, no, it's not fun. I want to go to... Baskar Village again, I think. Oh, now you let me land there? Whatever. So we need the Doom Blade, or else we just can't access this dungeon accurately. And then I'm gonna pay to not do any encounters if I can avoid it, because I just want to see what the boss is at this point. Yeah, I, I, I've had enough. If, if they want to put those gimmicks in there, that's on them. I'm not going to do that entire dungeon and the boss without having those. I'm sorry. I'm just not interested in doing that entire trek again. We've already been in this dungeon like a million times. And again, if all they had was a save point or I could have warped to it once I was there, I would have been fine. I would have liked to have seen this without using the, the dolls. But, you know, if the strategy is to, like, steal some absurdly annoying item to get, like the fish badge, in order to be immune to the boss, I'm just... I'm not interested. I just don't think I'm gonna spend, like, 30 minutes doing it, or an hour, or an hour and a half. Just... just so I can fight one boss. I'm just gonna pay the money that I have now, we're gonna beat the boss. It's that simple. So we're going to use as many magic carrots as we need, because there's pretty much no reason for me to hoard them at this point. Yeah, I just... it's unfortunate. I don't know why they decided to do this. It's put me in a bad mood between the dark room, the puzzles, the encounter rate, the ability to even enter and exit the dungeon, the lack of a save. It's just so many bad decisions. Like, compare that to, like... Compare that to, like, the stage hazard of the caves slash the mines at the beginning of the game. Compare that to even just, like, pretty much anything other than Tri-Pillar, where a lot of the times, the you know, you got a tool, use it to kind of advance and do those kinds of things. It was nice to explore. I don't feel like it's nice to explore by this point in the game. Most of the items are just bad compared to what we got outside of it. So there's not really an excitement factor. We have all the runes we could ever want. So we're not looking for them, basically, to beat the game at this point. Oh my gosh, Chad, it's never happening. Like, this is one of the few times I have considered save stating during a playthrough, because I got tired of the RNG. The other was Terranigma. Oh my gosh, come on. I feel like at least 15 minutes of the playthrough has been just this stupid series of cutscenes over and over. Because it's like 10 or 15 seconds every time I whiff it. The game, please. Just so unfair. I'm gonna start timing how long this cutscene takes. I'm gonna count out loud, chat. 
So we could talk about why this is not acceptable. <laughs> if this one fails, I'm counting. Actually, you know what? I'm counting no matter what. This is still a really long cutscene to sit through. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one. 22. It wastes 22 seconds every time we fail it. And doing this like 20, 30 times in a row definitely gets tiresome real quick. Really do not like this part of the game at all. Honestly, this alone makes me not want to play Wild Arms 2. Doing stuff like this, if this isn't Wild Arms 2, I'm not playing. Like, it's just that simple. Like, if you had told me at the beginning of the game the game was going to be like this, I would have been so disappointed. It's kind of like you play Valkyrie Profile 1, and then like halfway through the game, it turns into VP2. Like, that's what I feel happened. I felt like I felt like, found like a like a uncovered diamond kind of thing, like a diamond in the rough. And then, no, it's, it's fool's gold. <laughs> it's actually just fool's gold at the bottom. It's unfortunate. Just so many bad decisions in the last half of the game really ruin any potential of me wanting to rerun this. I know there's a remake of this game. I don't think I even want to touch it. I'm not interested. <laughs> if it has this stuff in it, why would I play it again? Very, very disappointed. But yeah, I didn't really like the puzzles. Tools were okay. But it's just kind of like when we're talking and just wasting time, because the game is wasting time. Like, there's nothing to really say. Like, it speaks for itself. We've lost two minutes at least just due to this. So it's like I'm not even getting to enjoy exploration. There's no plot I really want to see. It's just over and over and over we try to do this. It's like if we had to gamble. Like, essentially, we are gambling. Gambling to progress the plot. I mean, that's essentially what's happening. I have to gamble just to even get a chance at then doing the final boss equivalency. The true final boss of the uh, bonus dungeon. Like, this is crazy. Like, why, chat? Why? <laughs> Is there anything I could do to make my luck lower? Allegedly, that's how it works, according to people that were on stream before. I'm wearing the Doombringer, from what I recall. And we did get it in like three, which is not like the worst, but we are clearly not making any progress here. Something that increases our luck, which is unfortunate. Clearly someone thought this was a good idea. I hope that the person gets fired. This is miserable. Like honestly, Chad, this is just like, please let me in the dungeon. If we get in, I'm save stating. I'm not doing this again. <laughs> and I think Chad understands why. This is not skill based. This is not fun. There's no timing. There's no like, oh, you gotta get to a certain point in the plot. This is just the game refuses to let us progress. I'm losing my mind, chat, waiting for this to do this. I hate this so much. I might need a break from Wild Arms too, especially after this session. If, if like we finish this, well, I'm not gonna fit. Now I refuse to beat the game this session. If it's like this the next time we play, I'm not doing Wild Arms too. This is so stupid. I hate this so much, chat. I really, really do. 
All right, chat, we're gonna give it till 120. If it hits 120 and I have not entered this stupid bonus dungeon, I'm also done for the day. I've had enough. Because this just puts me in like such a bad mood. Because it's like, what do I do? There's nothing I can do. I'm literally just D-padding over and over into the same warp until the game arbitrarily decides that I'm allowed to enter. It's ridiculous. There we go, chat. It's on a timer. It's got three minutes. So on average, that's about nine attempts because of how long this teleportation is. And then I'm done. <laughs> and honestly, I might even refuse to beat Wild Arms 1 out of principle at this rate. Because I'm just getting increasingly annoyed at this dungeon. This is actually... This is actually worse than the Thor dungeon in Fantasia. I'm willing to state it. There's not even there's not even anything I could do to speed this up. It's it's like just repeatedly doing the door check in Thor. This is what it reminds me of. One of my least favorite dungeons of all time. Any game, any console, any time period, any genre. Like that's what it reminds me of. I'm thinking of Thor where we're basically held hostage by RNG. There's nothing we could really do. I don't even know what influences luck outside of the Doombringer. So I'm not even sure how to, like, consistently lower the luck of our party. But clearly I'm not able to do it. So does, like, everybody just to have bad luck or something? Is that how it has to work? I just get into encounters until they somehow, arbitrary by some system, go to bad luck? Do I now have to memorize how the luck system works in order to advance? They've got two minutes, by the way, chat, before I stop. Ridiculous. Oh my gosh. That, that, I kid you not, was like four solid minutes leading into that. It was going on six minutes. I'm going to save state. I'm not doing this again. I don't even feel remotely bad about this. Screw this bonus dungeon. Stupid. So over it, chat. I'm so over Wild Arms 1 right now. I have no idea. So let's just go beat it, I guess. We'll get the very unsatisfactory 99 escape doll win because... There's no save point, so I don't even get to see remotely what I would need to beat it. So I'm just gonna roll my eyes. We're gonna try to avoid all encounters. I'm gonna magic carrot right before we go fight the boss itself. So we have max MP to give myself the maximum chance. Oh, it stayed lit up. That's weird. Instantly attacked, unfortunate. Sure, we'll go fight you. Trickster... Oh, I forgot... Oh, hold on. Let me switch his blade. This is a normal lock. You know what? Let, let's give him amulet. So he's at best possible luck, chat. <laughs> so dumb. We haven't stolen from this enemy. I think we stole from all but two enemies, because we just haven't seen them. I would think the Kappa thing gives us immunity to water damage. Frog badge acquired. What, pray tell, is frog badge? Get rid of those. Steal. Yeah, that was mercifully fast, so we can at least kill this enemy. We'll use our bullet clip, because I have nothing better to do. So you're dead.
Spin Steel. Trickster. Yeah, like if we knew what element the upcoming boss was gonna use, we could in theory steal one of these. This pr presumably provides immunity. Got a decent amount of cash back. Not that we need it anymore. Uh, let's just humor the game. Nullify all... All elemental powers? That seems insanely overpowered. I guess... That seems so much better than the other one. That's actually kind of insane. Maybe this will make us immune to the boss. Maybe the intended strat is to grind these out and just equip them on all three characters. Maybe? Maybe that is the quote-unquote intended strat? Frog's apparently very superior to fishes. Fish needs to step up its game if it wants to be used. Um... So, I mean, I guess I'll try it. This way, I think. Went there. Hmm. I'm gonna light that up. We'll continue going. Game, please. I had a feeling I would get attacked. So at least we have something that presumably cheeses at least one boss. So finally, chat. Trickster finally stole something useful other than Duplicator. So chat, let's put it down. There were three items the entire game that were worth stealing. Ambrosia, Frog Badge, Duplicator. That's the entire list. No rare items. No rare accessories, aside from the ones I just mentioned that are worth taking. Let's just go for damage here. So we'll try to put it on, like, Cowboy, maybe? No, no, let's put it on Hunter. Yeah, like, when I can name all the successful finds in less than one hand's worth of fingers, that's kind of bad. That is kind of bad. I guess, I guess if you want to count it, I think you could technically steal Secret Sign from the arena. Do you want to, do you want to count that, chat? It might be four. Ooh. Not that it matters when you could get like infinite magic carrots later. Alright, uh, so let's see. XP up. Oh, come on. I guess I can also try to save state right before the boss because the game didn't have the courtesy of giving a save. Just so I see what the boss is like. But I, I feel like there's a 1000% chance I'm just going to end up getting one shot, so I don't feel like really playing around with that. Is there anything worth going to the left for? No, there's nothing there. Okay, so we're gonna make another save state because the game did not give us a save point for some reason. So let's make sure our MP is maxed with all the characters. I'm not messing around with this. We're gonna go ahead and just... For you, I'll put on the... Where is that? The BS badge? There it is. There's BS badge. Then we'll make everybody else just wear goat dolls. We'll have a nice little save state here. So if we want to retry... Well, actually, we'll do it right here. Because, you know, they didn't give us a save point.
I thought about not doing that, and then I'm like, you know what? Wild Arms pushed my patience with the other one. I don't feel like redoing. So anyway, let's use the guitar for the first time. I think I agree with the statement that he's very bad at guitar. <laughs> he makes them <laughs> makes them angry. Let's see. Ragula. Ragara Agula. How do you even say that? Rag Ragara Agula? A weird creature. Anyway, time to shoot in the face. It's an Ultraman villain. It's something. Um, the humor of the game, I'll trickster it. Let's make it take five years. Let's see what happens. Yeah, I'm... Oh, hold on. That's a fire attack. Wow. 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 And he has nothing. Of course he does. Of course he doesn't. That is so incredibly stupid. Well, anyway, I'm glad I didn't try to do this battle legit, because that is just absolutely stupid. It, it's dumb out of 10. Uh, let's use Phaser here. Extra doesn't really matter. Use his fire damage. Um, Make him wide open so do more damage, maybe. So now I maybe be able to save revives on other characters. So we're outspeeding him, which is good. Hopefully this defense down kicks in so this boss battle doesn't take like 30 years. Okay. He didn't hit a single character with that status ailment. That's actually just sad. Just like to say, chat, that, that's actually sad that he couldn't land that. I guess I'll rest of the group. On the off chance he does a single attack versus the insta death move. Stupid. Could you imagine, chat, if I didn't have that other thing? It would have been game over there if I didn't wear the escape dolls. Zero armor attack, okay. Hit Hunter. We have to we have to worry about Hunter's health. So we'll do phaser into meteor dive and arrest again. So we're putting in the work on the boss. If we use less than four dolls, I technically didn't need to purchase any, because we got those naturally through the game. Should hopefully put him out of kill range. I'm still doing fine. Use another phaser here. Meteor dive. Probably use Rusta to keep everybody at full HP. What I can do is use phaser again. Use do meteor dive. Let's use mystic on antidote. Why is it only targeting hunter? Kind of annoying, actually. <laughs> nice camera angle there. Okay, so one more and we get the super shot. The downside of the strategy is it takes longer to do the 999. Okay, we're gonna Nino Kune this character back to life. So we're putting in steady damage every turn no matter what. There we go. Oh, wait a minute. Did I re-equip them after they broke? Okay, good. I just wanted to make sure. I got scared there for a second. Okay, so that would have been all of my normal revives had I not purchased more, just for chat clarity. Like, that right there would have been at the end of the run. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and... 
Oh, when you die, you lose all your force? Oh, I didn't realize that with the escape doll. That sucks. So he's never going to build force then. Damn, I wish I realized that earlier. Okay, well, I guess I just go for the AoE heal. Yeah, that's unfortunate. I would have been using the guaranteed hits on this thing then. I imagine he'll die in like three turns. I find 999, I feel like we probably are pretty close, honestly. So she got one shot, but she's got a doll. So that's fine. We'll just go re-equip the doll again. Um, use phaser again. Meteor dive. Anything else I could do to make this boss fight less tedious? Let's get Baywatch Hunter. Oh, maybe I didn't Angie him. Let's make sure to Angie him. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, well, we learned too late. I thought it would stop us from dying, but I guess it counts as a death regardless. It's a bit unfortunate. Uh, We'll do Meteor Dive here. Hopefully he should just die in a couple turns, as I said before. So we're doing pretty consistent damage. Yeah, there should be big damage. Oh, he's going for his one shot. So yeah, I, I'm feeling pretty glad. I don't know about you, chat. So either I have to wear the thing that gives me total immunity, or I have to have the thing that revives me. The total immunity would have been preferred, since I would have kept my meter, but that relies off of just RNG drops. I think we're gonna go, hmm, probably for the best. We don't have to deal with that. Please land. Nice. Unfortunate that she died there. Oh, right, there we go. Fight's over. Yeah. So it was spend all that money to make sure that we don't die to that, or we grind in the dungeon for like an hour for the right enemy, and then hope we get the drops? Sheriff Star acquired. Is that it? There's no cutscene? Right. I'm so done, chat. I'm so done. I'm like, yeah, we're just gonna leave. Let's buy. I'm assuming it's a good accessory. I don't even know where it is in this. Metal for a legendary hero. It adds like 100 to all of our stats. It's a lot of stats. I think it's better on him because he actually uses sorcery for healing. Then I might be able to switch his rune. Oh no. Without the other ones, he doesn't hit 9 to 9. So he's now at max attack power, by the way, Chad. So yeah, he's not going to get through there. I guess I could leave full Libra on another character if I want. I think she still pretty much has to have the Necronomicon. I don't think that's negotiable. Him, I could see full Libra or force unit. I don't know if this grants immunity or not, because it doesn't really tell you what it does. If it doesn't, it's whatever. But at least if we just want to go first. His response time is pretty high. So you should just be able to one-shot basically everything. Anyway, I'm out of here. Bye. <laughs> 
I think we'll save beating the game for another time. I think I'm, I think I'm done. Just not in the mood to continue playing. Let's go this way. Yeah, nice ATP. He gets like 90 out of it because he was at like 909, I think, with the rune. Got an okay amount of cash. It's like, I guess in theory, I could go and upgrade our weapons one last time for more bullets or something. Not that I think I need it anymore. Accuracy. Oh, we never upgraded handguns damage to max. That's kind of funny. Where are the prism rays? Yeah, let's upgrade prism ray a little bit. I do use that on occasion. So that's maxed. Another bullet for this. Okay, so 80% means I could just use it in normal combat, rep over phaser. But another bullet, maybe? Alright, so 8 bullets is probably enough to kill every boss in the game. Could upgrade Wild Bunch's damage just because... Sure. That way I have something to do when I have lock on. Come on. So I think that's all we're gonna do. We never fully upgraded our characters, but that's fine. Too much money. But I'm hoping with the 80% I could just risk it. And then with the extra bullets I can afford whiffing in a boss battle. It is funny Prism Ray never got upgraded though. Having that upgraded is kind of huge because we still use that for dungeon clear. So it having slightly better attack is for the best. So even though it's like a kind of low-end item, the fact that it does group is kind of nice. I could still use Rocket Launcher a little bit over it, but Rocket Launcher is also pretty strong. So it also is less accurate. It's always 100 to fully reload. No, it's 10 per bullet. It, it charges per bullet. I just haven't used this many, fortunately. So we'll leave them on Force Unit for now. Necronomicon, Sheriff Star. Yeah, no worries. So, I'm assuming he's basically unkillable. Between his parry rate, his magic resistance actually being decent, his physical defense being high, and I think he's now at 4,850 health due to the badge as well. So he has more HP than Cowboy does. So he's basically unkillable. I wonder if they wanted a cowboy to get the badge. We'll pause here for now. So let's talk about how we feel the session went. I hated that bonus dungeon, one of the worst, least favorite moments of the game, and not the least favorite on stream, but it's in bottom five for me. It's down there with Zesteria Water Dungeon, Roulette Dungeon from uh, Eternia. Thor, Castlevania 64 TNT. I put that as number five currently. <laughs> so it's in the bottom five, Chad. I thought it through. I can't think of anything that was worse than those. Oh man, what a bad decision. So I guess next time we'll, I guess, beat the game. It should be very easy with our current setup. I'm probably hilariously overleveled just trying to survive that one ninja fight. So we'll see where we go from there. <laughs> Terrific list, it's pretty bad. So from that standpoint, I have a feeling the rest of the game is just going to be one-shotting. So we're just going to be mostly viewing cutscenes. I think the credits at this point are a formality. At least those late game PP dungeons got out of the bottom five. Yeah, they got bumped out. Pachinko was bad, but I don't think Pachinko was as bad as entering that dungeon and the rest of the dungeon. And while... And, and VP2's bonus dungeon was actually fun. VP1's bonus dungeon is mostly forgettable. But those, uh, some of those hard mode puzzle dungeons, they're, they're probably in bottom 10 still. Like, the rotating room dungeon was horrific. That one is actually horrific. 
but not as bad as that dungeon. That that did not take me as long to complete as any of this <laughs> due to the time wasters. So yeah, I think from that standpoint, we'll we'll try to go in with a positive attitude, but I am pretty much going to dump on this game when we get to the review. I, I've had it up to here with the RNG. I did not have fun the last two sessions. I will have to rethink if I want to do Wild Arms too. I might have to watch some gameplay. Like, it is to that point, I don't trust it after how bad the last half of this game was. And it was such a shame because it had like such an interesting concept and it has like everything in theory I would like it at RPG and it just totally blows it with a horrible, horrible design choices towards the end when it was actually pretty good in the beginning about them. So it's just kind of disappointing to see where it goes with it. But anyway, we'll save that for another time, another rant. So let's go ahead and say goodbye to YouTube. So if you did watch at this point the video or the VOD, I'd just like to say thank you for watching. Hope to see you again, and presumably when we beat the game.